No. Well, all right, even then. Oh, dude. No, that's such a. Deep, uh, you gotta have the deep V. That's man. such a. It shows if I could me. have a deeper V, I would. It's such but a. I it's such a deep V. Like it's you for should. For the sake of uh. That's chest hair. I don't have any of that. Don't look. Man, sometimes you can't. It's <laughs> no, more comfortable look. to not have chest hair. It's gotta be comfortable to it's, not have chest hair. No, it's more comfortable to not have chest hair than it is to have. I don't know, hair. dude. You get used to it. I don't even know this. I guess. It does get stuck in my chain sometimes. I just like the... I don't know. I like the feeling of it. But, uh, you know what started to annoy the shit out of me today? I had to Google it. I couldn't find any solutions. They're nothing at all. Uh, YouTube. You guys use YouTube. Frequently. I mean, pretty pretty <laughs> much on the daily. YouTube? Frequently, right? All right. Do, do you ever use it on your computer? I don't know if it's the same thing on Xbox or your phone or whatever, or tablet. I don't know. On my computer, I have the video, and then it has the up next thing yeah it's like a cue all right so i was watching this guy and he had uh he put up a video and it was like uh his 10 favorite mario party mini games out of all the games like all one through however many there are all put together yeah so i clicked that when i watched that and then it says up next and it was um he he was playing like a hacked version of super mario 64 so then i watched that and then I'm watching that one. The up next video is the top ten Mario Party mini games again. I'm like, that's gotta be, that's weird. So I'm like, you know what? Let's see if it happens again. And so I click that one, and sure enough, the up next video for that is hacked Super Mario 64. They might have it um, set as like a playlist. It's if, it's really it same, annoying. Is it the same? Uh, it's the same guy. YouTuber, yeah. But the other part that's annoying too is, I got on. I watched the Angry Joe show. Call of Duty World War II review. So I watched that. That's watched. That's off my main page now for subscriptions to keep up with. But now every video I watch, almost, any gaming-related video, the next video is going to be that review. It, it happened like four or five times. And it's all the up next videos are videos that I've already watched. Mm -hmm. Or it's ones that... That's weird. Like, it's ones that I've watched either today or ones that I've watched previously. It's yeah, really I know... Annoying. Um... Like with, like with our page for the podcast, it's like I set two playlists, and it'll play the next one in that playlist like automatically. Mm -hmm. So it'll be the next video up. Yeah. Or you can go to the playlist itself and then just play through the whole playlist. But no one's gonna sit there for a fucking twelve hours of podcast. Yeah, sometimes they'll just throw you in a playlist. You just click on a random video. I think when fucking... you go to a video, it like puts you in that playlist like automatically. And sometimes when it, even when you're not even in a playlist, you'll finish the video and they'll it'll just play the next. They'll, they'll just start playing some other random shit. I mean, I think you can turn off the autoplay. That's what I had to do. Yeah, but uh, it was just annoying. And then uh, there's the Red Letter Media I watch. They do movie reviews and they watch like low budget movies and review them. And, uh, so I was watching their Best of the Worst, which is the low-budget movies. I click episode one, but then the up next video is the most recent one, instead of episode two. Mm hmm So I don't, I, I'm, it's, and it's, it just started happening today. But that's, that's annoying. And in line... Yeah, with, you know, it's kind of annoying when, like, you're watching something that's episodic, and, like, the next episode isn't in, like, the suggestions like on yeah. the side or whatever it's it's uh you basically have to like go to their page and just leave it there and open everything in new tabs mm -hmm. yeah yeah it was uh, a little annoying but what were you saying about birthdays uh yeah. i'm i hate facebook birthday notifications i don't use <laughs> facebook that much but like the only notifications i get are like i can't turn them off and it sends me like every single day around the same time it'll send me it's someone you've never talked to or, and two others have birthdays today. <laughs> you know, like, and telling you to post on their wall or whatever. Yeah. First of all, I'm not going to do that. No. Uh, even <clears> if <throat> I like you, kind of. Uh, and yeah. then... <laughs> nope. And then uh, there's also... It also sends me one for, like, memories. It's like, I don't really care what I did three years ago today. Like, I really don't. <laughs> like, I guess it's cool to look back at sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I got one of those. It was care. interesting. It's like, I really don't care too much, like, what I posted on Facebook three years ago. Yeah. Because people think it's fucking weird when they... Yeah, like, more often than not, it's shit that didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And when people are scrolling through your Facebook page or you'll get a like or you'll get a notification from someone liking something that you posted from fucking like three years ago and you're just like, why are you? Yeah, like how are you even seeing this? Why? Yeah. No, not how, just why are you on my Facebook page that, looking three years back? Yeah, it, <laughs> it gets really annoying when they do the time hop and it was like a 30 comment post and all of a sudden it starts up again and it was like a joke you posted in high school or something <laughs> or like a, like a meme like a retired meme. Yeah. And you're like, how did anybody think this was funny? Yeah. And then you click it and you go through and then everybody is commenting. Like, and then it's like, it's like two or three people are continuing a conversation. And then a, the fourth and fifth person are like, shut the fuck up. Why are you talking right now? Yeah. You're, you're talking on a post from 2012. <laughs> some people, will, some people will have straight conversations in the comment section. Like they'll, yeah, sometimes they, like, forget that they're even in comment sections. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, or, like, like, do you think you're fucking private messaging, or, like, yeah. what? Yeah, or, like, you said, where it's, like, it was forever ago, and then they just start another conversation, and it goes on for a while, for some <laughs> it reason. It drives me nuts. It's like, oh, this comment from 2013, there's a comment from 2013, and then one from, like, f- five minutes ago. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I also want to yeah. figure out how to stop getting tagged and shit. If you look at my Facebook page, I don't post hardly anything anymore but i i would put money on it that 10 to 15 of my most recent uh things on my wall is all just stuff i've been tagged in most of the time it's not funny all the time and you didn't even time it's not and the thing is you don't even know that it's being posted to your wall i liked i always like to get on and like either like the status of some when, when an argument starts and you just either leave a comment in there just so you'll get the notification to see yeah, them, to yeah. see people arguing. Just put LOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to do that all the time. I always, I like seeing the gif of Michael Jackson eating popcorn from Thriller. Mm-hmm. And it's that always, was, it's that like classic. that somebody posts it and it's yeah. always like, okay, you're a douche, but all right. I've seen it so many times. You're not surprised that it's that person that's putting it on the post. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, oh, I'm just here for the angry comments. I it's like, like going into off. like ones that are like big fights in the comment section. And I have like one that's like a, a photo of like a Royal Rumble or some shit. And then it says, meanwhile, in the comments. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just everybody going at everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I, like... was, uh, I was reading this thing the other day about fucking Muhammad Ali and how he, he like, apparently he like staged this whole thing where he fucking talked somebody down from killing themselves. Some like homeless guy. He staged it? I guess it was staged. Like, there's a whole bunch of evidence that came out that, like... Yeah. Like a publicity like, supported, stunt Yeah. Thing. Like, like basically what it was was, like, he had just lost a big fight, and, like, he was basically fucked. Like, they didn't really even want him to get back in the ring. Like, his, uh, his manager didn't want him to get back in the ring and shit, and, like, everybody was saying, like, he couldn't, uh, like, speak the right way, and, like... Yeah. Just, uh... I don't know, convey thoughts and ideas the right way and shit. So they thought he was fucked up completely. So apparently what he did was like, he set up this whole thing to like show people in some weird way that he could still talk to people. And like, Oh shit. It was so weird. Like the way that they, (laughs) but like apparently, (laughs) yeah, it's so weird. Um, (laughs) apparently like he basically, I, I don't know 100% if it's staged, but from what I've seen, like, there's a bunch of evidence that says it is, basically. And he fucking rode up to it in a limo, like, up to this building in a limo. Okay. So, like, come on. Like, and it was yeah. such a weird time in his career, too. But apparently there's this homeless guy, like, up at the top of this building, and he, like, fucking runs up. And basically, like, it almost looks... There's actually a photo from it. I wish I could find it. I should actually look for the photo. But there's, like, a photo from it where he's basically in, like, a suit. And the homeless guy's in, like, a wicked generic homeless guy outfit. Yeah. Like, the most homeless guy outfit you could think like of. Like, the torn up fucking plaid a, shirt. And yeah. The, there's, like, an image, too, of them... Of him the out one window. With cotton hanging out of it. There's a... <laughs> like, uh, like, fingerless gloves and shit. <laughs> there's, a, there's a photo of him hanging out one window... And like talking to the guy over a couple windows, like it's yeah. so it looks so scripted. Like I, I don't <laughs> even understand. I'm gonna actually. Yeah, I was gonna it. say pull it up if you can because I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, it's just it came at such a weird time in like his career and shit. Um, that's so weird. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I I I don't remember where I heard it. Oh, you know what? It was on um. There's a new podcast that came out. Um, by this guy, there was a show on um. I just put Muhammad. I forgot to put Ali. Muhammad saves Muhammad homeless Muhammad saves man. homeless men. There's probably a lot of Muhammads that have saved homeless men. Yeah. Or they threw them off the roof. Right, because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's one or the other. <laughs> I'm going to look. Stoned him to death. Yeah, it's so, like, weird looking. Oh, right there. Results. Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, there it is, right there. Just for the picture, right there. The picture's right there. Nope, yeah, to the right. yeah. This is what I was talking about. It's um, <laughs> he's wearing a suit and shit. Oh, look how small it is. But the guy looks so. It looks so set up. Like it almost looks like they're on a Hollywood set. Yeah. But I was listening to this podcast called uh, "What Really Happened." It's by um, it's produced by The Rock, which is okay. Weird. It's produced by The Rock, and it's hosted by Andrew Jenks, who did that show, uh, World of Jenks, on MTV, like, a couple of years back. I I have no idea anything on MTV. I didn't watch MTV, and I, that was, like, one of the only shows that I liked from it. What was, uh... Isn't they have... Oh, I'm thinking of... Is it Ridiculousness? Where the guys prank each other? They do the public pranks? No, Ridiculousness and, and is the... Practical Jokers. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, But that's not even MTV, is Ridiculousness it? is the Rob Deer. It's Rob Deer, yeah. Okay, that show was all that right. That is MTV, isn't that, it? That one was all right. Ridiculous... Or, uh... And Practical Jokers... Is that sci-fi? Is on, like, True TV or True some TV? random shit. Some random fucking... Huh. TBS? Yeah, something like that. They're supposed to be in Syracuse coming up soon. Those guys are. I guess doing... Burt Kreischer was, like, on tour with them or, like, went on a cruise with them or some shit. That's so <laughs> strange. strange. Oh, I, have you seen any of Burt Kreischer's on the topic of him? Have you seen any of his stand-up specials? Uh, I've only seen like one. Is he good, or is he just the is it just the machine story? That's like his main thing. Like his, his he tells thing. the machine story at every, at every show. At every show, have you ever seen that? No. We'll show it to you if we go on. Yeah. If we do a break or after the podcast, it's it's There's a, a it's a wicked funny story. It's about how he went to. There's a picture. A way bigger picture of that. Yeah. He doesn't even look like he's homeless, actually. He looks like he's wearing... Okay, he's wearing jeans. I know, he's wearing like he a, has hood. a hood. He looks he like he's pretty... I was going to say, he looks like he just got out of the mall with a, like a brand new outfit. Yeah, he went to like Pac Sun <laughs> and bought just the outfit off of like a mannequin. And what was <laughs> weird was that there was like a whole crowd of people down there and they weren't like telling him... Like, they weren't saying usual shit that you would see at that kind of scene. They were, like, mm-hmm. chanting USA and shit when he f- saved him. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that all about? Like, why would Vietnam you chant? Going they've, got the the right, they've got the right Mohammed. <laughs> Mohammed. Yeah, it's definitely a Mohammed of some sort. There's a video? Not anymore. It says on it's unavailable. Unavailable. But yeah, no, the, the machine story is pretty funny. It's about Burt Kreischer, how he went to... Uh, he went to Florida State University, and, and he signed up for... Uh, he had to do a foreign language, so he thought he signed up for Spanish. He ended up signing up for Russian. Okay. And uh, when he found out it was a Russian class, he wanted to leave. But the teacher <laughs> needed X amount of students. I think she needed 12 students to teach the class. Right. So she told Bert, she's like, if you just stay in the class, I'll give you a C. So he stays in there, and he takes that class with that same teacher for oh. like three years in a row. And right. ends up going to Russia on the like final the final semester they go to Russia for like their whatever yeah for a trip kind of like the fucking middle school went to Montreal or whatever yeah sort of like fucking that. back when so he, he, him and his class went to Russia and he became French. friends with the Russian mafia <laughs> and wow. talks about hanging out with the Russian mafia for right. like a week but um that's fucking awesome yeah but I, I, I've watched some of Burt Kreischer's stand-up, and in my opinion, it's just the machine story. Yeah. He's a he's a really funny guy on the podcast and uh, out and about, but uh, I find him to be a little overbearing. Mm-hmm. I haven't really... He, he's um like a storyteller, basically, yeah. more than anything. I mean, Joey Diaz is, too, but... But he's actually good at it. I like Joey Diaz's voice That's and his inflections, oh mostly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking changed, jaw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's so I mean, he's kind of built for podcasts. Yeah. Uh, 
But shit. No, podcasts are fucking getting huge now. You know how many like more people, channels I've seen doing podcasts now? Just regular YouTubers. It's like everybody does it. Yeah. We've been doing it. Because... The thing about them is, like, you can listen to them anywhere. You can you can be driving, and you can be mm. listening to a podcast. And they're free, and they're on demand. Yeah, and they're free. That's a big thing, too. We had the same circle wrestling. How long did you do that? I was only on it for a year, but you did uh, it for, like, three years, didn't you? Yeah, probably. Probably almost three years. Yeah. Felt like. Yeah. Felt like I did it forever. It's just, like, it was a different format, though. Like, it was, like, uh... It was more serious. Yeah, well, it was also, like... Talking about directions that they're going and the way that they should and, like, what we do and don't like about storylines. Like and, the like, the gimmicks and shit. And shit. Mm-hmm. You went over those. And results and things like that. Mm-hmm. Which, like, was fun. Because wrestling is, like... Wrestling is built, like, for the fans. Like, that's the whole point yeah. of it. Yeah. Definitely. So, I guess, like... It's a show. It's... Like yeah, an art form. It's like a soap opera for men. It, it, yeah, it essentially That's how is, I feel yeah. about it. Um, it's like... The thing nowadays is, like, it's so hard for them to keep, like, a story under wraps because everything's public, like, through Twitter and shit like that. Everybody knows everything about everybody outside of their character. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, back in the day, like, you could just be a persona. Like, no one mm-hmm. really knew who, who you were or, like, how you were outside of the ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the WWE doesn't help themselves with that either because they they have wrestlers do their shows on the WWE Network or they have them do stuff. They have their own stuff on YouTube yeah. and stuff like that. And, so and you like, don't the way the illusion they, anymore. Yeah. Like I, like, I feel like the way they do things now is, like, half real. So yeah. they, like, take real-life storylines and put them into, yeah. into what they're like kayfabe is yeah i haven't i i kind of just tune in for pay-per-views that's really all it is for me now yeah I it's watch the same way with it. ufc i was in i was watching a lot of ufc like i was getting fight pass or fight night and all that and watching watching ufc all the time but now it's just the pay-per-views i watch raw but i watch like i kind of pay attention to it not really though mm-hmm. uh it's all on hulu like, there's, like, 90-minute versions of Raw and SmackDown really? on Hulu. That's crazy. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Which is way better, because then watching Raw is three hours long on TV. Yeah. A yeah. little bit more, too. Uh, last night, Triple H came back. Really? Oh, all right. He's going to be at Survivor Series. When's that? This <laughs> Sunday? Mm, it's either this Sunday or next Sunday. I think very, it's this Sunday. Very true. Very clean. I have this Sunday off, so. Who fucking knows? Who <sighs> Oh boy. Google it. Yep. Yeah. Well. But, uh, I, I haven't really been watching, I don't even really watch football that much. I think the past three weeks, yeah, the past three Sundays, I haven't been able to watch football because I've been working until 8 o'clock. <laughs> so I go into work at 11 before football starts and I get out yeah. at 8 when football's over, besides prime time, but. It's on the 19th. That's this Sunday then. Yeah. Ooh, which is perfect but uh I, I I haven't been watching basketball basketball for me now is waiting for the game to be over and then I watch all the streamable links on reddit and 4chan and then that's the whole game <laughs> yeah <laughs> like the leading up to the Knicks Cavaliers game last night LeBron was talking shit about uh, one of the rookies the Knicks drafted and uh there's a part in the game good yesterday. old LeBron yep yeah when did he go back to the Cavs uh, when did he go to the dark side he went to the dark side in 2000. Do they still have Wade? D Wade? Yeah, they just got D Wade oh, on the Cavs. Shit. That's... They just got him like two years ago. And LeBron. Ago. That team's broken now. Team's OP. It, it would be if it was like five <laughs> years ago. <laughs> they were the, good. The Warriors right now are just, they're, they're, they're stupid. They've got Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Kevin Durant. Wow. They got Swaggy P on the bench. When when Nick Young is like your eighth man up, <laughs> I feel like that league up. gets dominated by like a group of teams. Like mm-hmm. there's only like a group of teams that are good in that. The only teams that matter, honestly, are the Cavaliers and the Warriors. It's and weird because have... like back in the day, you'd have like a guy for each team, and he was like their big name. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Yep. Now players take pay cuts mm-hmm. to play with other superstars. Yeah. Now it's like you have two or three guys on one fucking team, yep. and then those teams are the only ones that matter. Yeah. Well, look at the Timberwolves. They have uh, 
Carl Anthony Like, Towns it used to be and, Kevin Garnett. Like, that was their guy. Like, there used yeah. to be a poster guy, basically, mm-hmm. of the franchise. That's what makes the Pistons yeah. so awesome, because the Pistons in the 80s, I mean, they had Isaiah Thomas, but he wasn't, I mean, he was really good, but he wasn't a, so much a superstar as much, like, a key piece of the team. Yeah. And then you had the Pistons of 10 years ago or so, where they had, like, Ben Wallace and uh, yeah. Chauncey Billups. But those guys, I don't even think they were all stars. Because like when I think a team, like I, like I said, like last time we were talking about this, I don't watch it that much. No. But when I think of a teams, like I think of that, like a certain player. Mm-hmm. Like if I think of the 76ers, Allen Iverson. Yep. It's yep. like if I think of like the Celtics, I'm like Paul Pierce. Mm-hmm. It's like Michael Jordan, Bulls. It's yep. like you know, like you associate that one star player with that team. Yeah. And now it's yeah. it's like you said, it's two, three guys. The Cavaliers. I mean, you we have. Dwayne Wade, and then you have LeBron, and then you have Kevin Love, and now the new Isaiah Thomas is on that Cavaliers team, and you That's got ridiculous. like it's 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 ridiculous. Yeah, uh, the Warriors are just uh, they're just too good. And Were they like a ninety eight overall in two K? <laughs> in two K, they're they're actually pretty on un- they're pretty ridiculous in real life, and really? in real life they're they're unfair too. <laughs> the Spurs have Kawhi Leonard. I feel like they should do that in real life, give teams overall Overall ratings. ratings. Fuck yeah. That's what power rankings are for. I, I mean, I guess. They're not really overall ratings, though. They're just rankings. ELO. They have the ELO rankings, right? They're also, like, just a Completely subjective. subjective, yeah. So, uh, that's what baseball is good for. Baseball, the statistics for baseball go so in-depth. Like, you know, you, you can get a really good idea of what you're getting out mm-hmm. of a guy. Yeah. I feel like baseball is so goddamn unforgiving, though. Like that is, so. it's so unforgiving though. Like you, there's a battle that you have with the pitcher. First of all, mm-hmm. like to yeah. even make contact with the ball is a fucking battle to like win the fucking count, like the pitch count and mm-hmm. like to win that actual battle and put the ball in play. That's a fucking battle. To make it and to then the when you put it in play, it has to not go directly into someone's fucking hands. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have to go, you have to make it to first. And if you get to first, you have to make sure the guy right after you doesn't hit it in field for a double play. Yeah. yeah. Like the game is, it's such a, it's such a you, game of. And to judge the ball, like where the ball's flight is going to be from so your many base. factors. Like, cause yeah. if it goes right past somebody, you might have to stay at first, cause you don't know if he's gonna catch it or not. Mm-hmm. Cause if he catches it, you have to fucking go back to first. You have to tag up. Yeah. Otherwise, you can keep going. You have to keep going to second. If he fucking doesn't catch that, you have to get to second. Yeah, there is the force out. Yeah. Like it's a, like there's such an awareness in that game. Yeah. And with the amount of downtime that there is in baseball, like you always have to be on your feet too. It's so weird. Mm-hmm. But there's that battle between the pitcher and the catcher to get it in play, and then there's also you have to hit it accurately if you can mm-hmm. and put it in play. It's a fucking unforgiving game. <laughs> Let's bring back Matt Ball. Yeah, we should. <laughs> bring back Okie Ball, dude. <laughs> Okie, Okie, Okie. See, I... Mm. Kickball would be a fun professional sport. What is? Was it called it Jailbreak, would. the one with the pins? But I thought it was Bombardment. <sighs> Maybe. Was it? it was oh, Jail. Yeah. It was Jail something. Maybe it was jail. There was a jail game. Is that yeah, the one where was. you have to steal the pins? It called Jailbreak. It was Jailbreak. That's what I think it was. it was. There was like a bunch of pins behind. Like, it was like a Capture the Flag, basically. But it was yeah. like Dodgeball at the same mm-hmm. time. I remember the one where the blue mats around the walls were safe, and as long as you were touching the mat, you were oh, good. Oh, yeah. And the other just team... just huge teams. Yeah, the other team put the pins wherever they wanted. Oh, yeah. But that was at Fitchu. That was like... We're talking like 11 years ago. <laughs> I think I know what that is. See, I never wanted to play baseball or basketball or soccer growing up. I wanted to join a, a, a league that had kickball and mat ball. Why are those games not pro yeah. sports? Seriously. They tried to do... Uh, it's the same concept as baseball. <laughs> Just get, this, get, get the statistics for kickball. <laughs> shoes flown off. <laughs> Number of shoes yeah. flown off. Yeah. Slu- slugging percentage. <laughs> They tried to do a, a beer league kickball team in a swiggo, but not wow. enough people signed up. Each bar was going to sponsor a kickball team. That would have been fucking nuts. Yeah. Like, you know be... how they have beer league softball? Fucking beer league kickball? <laughs> You're just hammered <sighs> playing kickball? <laughs> and it's grown men, so they're going to kick it so fucking far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just rocketing. <laughs> like, that's why it's that not a That would be entertaining. Sport. I'd pay to see that. It's like the... It's like the <laughs> It's like the steroid era in baseball, permanently. <laughs> the games are ending like 31 to 30. Everyone's on PEDs. <laughs> <laughs> They're just jacked up on black coffee and beer. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's what the PEDs are. exclusively drinking vodka Red Bulls? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I would play that, dude. I wanted to start a flag football league. That'd be so sick. That would flag be cool. football? Yeah. I mean, you can't play, like, tackle football. No, There'd we would die. straight lawsuits <laughs> yeah. up the ass. <laughs> yeah. Play it on somebody else's property. Paintball football. Paintball right. football. <laughs> Find a way to make it happen. <laughs> That'd be rough. You though. have to hit him with the markers to down him. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so easy. There would be a zero yard gain every single time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they no, but snap the, it and you just go. But <laughs> each, each each team <laughs> shares one paintball gun. Oh, okay. So they <laughs> collectively <laughs> fire the gun. Hand it off and shit. <laughs> yeah. What the, does the offense do with the paintball gun though? <laughs> no, the offense doesn't get the paintball gun. The defense. You have eleven guys. They pass. They they pass the paintball gun around. The offense has the ball. Why wouldn't they just have one guy hold the paintball gun the whole time and then as soon you can't as every, every, it, after every after every yeah. play it rotates so that way everybody gets a chance everybody gets a turn of the gun <laughs> yeah and uh, everybody has to participate uh, there's no winners or losers or there's they should only just participation or they trophies. should just have like a go kart and the guy who has the ball has to get into a fucking go kart <laughs> <laughs> and drive towards <laughs> and not get shot I think we're on to something here <laughs> yeah paintball go kart football <laughs> paint cart ball. <laughs> I'm thinking still. I don't think there's a way to fuse those words. No, paint card all. What if we did snowmobiling instead? Yeah, I'm talking about snowmobiling. Snowmobiling, because you have to wait till fucking winter to do that. <laughs> you can't do it year-round. Instead of a ball, we use a fish. It starts with a letter Football S. Football on ice, on ice fucking skates. You know how terrifying that is? So that ridiculous. actually sounds so good. There would be 0% footing. Like, you would not be able oh, to play. Oh, so many people would be getting Do rugby. Fucking... Do rugby with on ice. Because <laughs> rugby is fucked. You ever play rugby? <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've it. Seen I've seen never it. played it. Rugby is Have fucking... Have you played rugby? I wish I've played rugby. Man. I sound like I've played rugby, rugby but I want to. <laughs> rugby league. I've watched a ton of rugby R- rug league, highlights. If you will. I haven't watched a full game. I don't understand it. I kind of like. They're like we're lining up. It. We're lining up to kick a Jimmy. It's like what the fuck are you talking really? about? Really? Oh, some weird ass <laughs> fucking rules. cricket. There's cricket. Cricket's fucking weird. You uh, ever watch that shit? I think we did watch a rugby game, didn't we? We Seth? were talking about cricket the other day. Remember, uh, I was playing Super Mega, or, or no, we were talking about Matt Ball or something, and then it turned oh. into talking about cricket. Yeah, that yeah. just happened yeah. just now. No, like it no, happened. I think me and Seth were talking about <laughs> cricket the other day too. <laughs> You can't do that to me. I think we just talk about cricket every day. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, what? Well, I started with Matt Paul, and now we're on cricket. Yeah, well, that was a thing now, but it also happened before. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, have you ever watched cricket before? It's fucking weird. No. Is that what you're... Are you pulling up cricket or rugby? I can do both. <laughs> Split the screen, come on. Just do uh, top ten what-the-fuck moments in cricket history. It's going to make it even more confusing Yeah, but that's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> that's the least, that's the worst way to <laughs> learn, learn anything about, uh, top, to see things that don't ever happen in the sport. <laughs> top 10, go left. <coughs> I'm top 10, uh, sw- insane swing balls? Alright, let's or see cricket. these wow swings. Oh, man. S- what? That's a stock this photo. Ad. This is that's an a ad. stock photo of a kid in a, in a gi. <laughs> No, this is not an ad. They I got thought it was. Daily new cricket videos, though. <laughs> daily <laughs> sports Subscribe. sports blast. And they got Tosh point oh and a fucking, fucking roundhouse kick. I don't get why there's a kid in a karate gi. <laughs> For, sorry, what? We have no audio. We have no idea what's going on. Right no, now. it doesn't matter. Really. Top ten insane swing balls in cricket history, and then it's just a bunch of Google Plus icons. Oh, here we go, James <laughs> James <laughs> James Anderson. Let's uh, see this. Here we go, what? go James. Yeah, he's running full speed. Oh shit! What like, is this? Running- Wow. There's a pitcher and he's running full speed. Is yeah, that a, is that a pool? The batter. Is that a pool ball? <laughs> and he bounces it's the like ball a, off the ground. It's like a croquet ball. <laughs> he ran he like literally ran full speed and threw it like overhand like a pitcher. I don't Oh look at the masks they have to wear too. What? I don't understand why it bounces. Like I don't understand what the they're ground? doing. And they have a fucking pit crew or some shit? Are they throwing what it at the, the ground? What the fuck are they doing? Yeah, yeah they're, they're bouncing? bouncing off the ground. That's an easy way to get lose an eye. He's hitting it backwards. Yeah, he literally hit that backwards and it got fielded. I don't understand what that is. No. I feel like we need to... I feel like it might be about the way that you hit the ball, like a certain angle. You have to hit it behind them or something? Oh, well, he just swung it forward. He just swung it forward. What? And they don't have gloves in the outfield. He just, like... What did he just do? Uh... 
<laughs> this is so fucked. This is confusing. I feel like he, he saved it. Like he saved yeah. it from going out of bounds. Is that what you have to do? I wonder what. How come that first guy hit it backwards? I wonder how heavy the ball is. Like, what kind of ball are they? The, there's nobody watching this, and it says it's a championship series right now. Yeah, the, so many empty fucking seats in the. It's because they're all watching Stands. rugby instead. Like from what I remember, there's <laughs> they're on their phones. Essentially, watching. there's two bases. Like it's not really bases, but you have to like run out and go around something, come oh, back to where you were hitting okay. it from. Before they throw like where, it back, yeah, or something like that. Maybe but they, they don't have, to keep have gloves it in, inbounds. It looks so like how are they whipping at full speed at each other without gloves? You don't I, have I don't, gloves to whip it. I don't understand. No, the you need gloves to catch it. You need you a glo- need gloves to catch it <laughs> to whip it. No, I don't know. Like, where do they even play this? Like, where is it? Australia and Europe, India, basically everywhere but America, because we have baseball, which is actually superior. Well, Australia, yeah. They can handle anything in Australia because they they open their front door and they see a fucking it's colony right. of snakes. Yeah, <laughs> dude, everything that lives in Australia that's not human <laughs> wants to kill you. Like, <laughs> yeah, and you just have that. You see those Australia badass, and Florida. Like, yeah, you see those badass YouTube channels. The guys fucking just picking shit up, just going up to what wild animals and just like fucking mm-hmm. picking them up, and it's crazy. I can't uh, dumping, a, dumping a beer stein of Foster's on an alligator's face, <laughs> cooking it and eating it. Fucking uh, f- oi, fuck you, cunt! <laughs> See, rug- nice rugby is beer. cool though. I, they there was rugby yeah. on for like they had the rugby World Cup or whatever over the summer. I think it was the World Cup. I don't know, but it, that was really cool because it's it's football, but there's no and they're in shorts too. There's like no barely pads. any stoppages. No there's no pads. T-shirt and shorts, and uh, it's brutal. And you, they're like, I don't think you need to have the ball Not to beat the shit out of other people. And there's like scrums all the time, mm-hmm. so like you're always on the ground, like gouging and you're shit. you're like wrestling and shit. Yeah, like when a ball's fumbled in the NFL, like it's just a pile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fucking uh, brutal. And then fucking American football, we're wearing pads and shit, and we're still like crying we're about still people getting, getting concussions. Uh, yeah, just gonna say that. it's it's gonna sound really harsh, but I don't really care about CTE. I care that the NFL was hiding it for a long time, but now that we know that it happens, I don't really. Well, you, you know what's you know you hit a guy head to head, you get dizzy. That's not going to be good if you do that. If you're going to lead with your fucking helmet, you are taking the risk of yeah. fucking mm-hmm. being knocked unconscious and fucking having con- having a concussion. Yeah. You know, every uh, there was a guy. I mean, um, there's ways to make a clean tackle without using your fucking head. Yeah, exactly. There was a guy on the news that was saying. Um, Aaron Judge just won Rookie of the Year for the Yankees, and he's six foot eight, like two hundred forty pounds. And there's a guy that was going, "Oh well, you know, if if uh, <laughs> that was sweet, he just he got just like literally clotheslined him. That yeah. was like a um, that was like a finisher. Right, it was there. like one of those slingshot things they do in wrestling. You got a yellow card for that. But yeah, so slingshot like, thing. What do you mean? Like they run up and like grab their neck and then they spin around and slam them down forward. Oh, like it's okay. like a clothesline. Like, it's like yeah. a clothesline, but wow, that yeah, is fucking brutal, dude. Line. That is so brutal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they um, you know how many heads have like, to cl- have it, to clash? It literally looks like it's just a bar fight, like all the yeah. Time. Like mm-hmm. this game literally looks like it's a bar fight. But the guy, it's like the guy, like took. It's like the guy took the bottle of Jack, and everybody else is trying to fucking. Take why is him. why is this guy got a hat? These two have hats on, and the rest of them don't. <laughs> Maybe it's he, optional. He had a he had the ball though. Those things look like they do not protect you mm-hmm. at all whatsoever. It looks like it's optional because everybody else. It looks the ball. like he has a he, he might as well have a piece of cardboard wrapped around his fucking head. <laughs> like yeah. that's the padding that he has for yeah. that thing. Yeah. Anyway, so this guy was saying um, that. Aaron Judge is such a freak athlete that if the CTE stuff never came out, he would have played football instead. Oh, my God. So people think football is going to die. There's people that are saying that football isn't going to be around. That's like saying that... Years. Bullshit. That's no. like saying that soccer is going to die. It's not. It's just not. Soccer's like... I can't even, like, this. the cardio that is involved in soccer is fucking crazy. Yeah. Right? You're running for so long, yeah. and it's a huge field. It's a problem that's just not entertaining. Yeah. At all. <laughs> it's not. Not even if you're playing. <laughs> Just low scoring fucking games. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I I was watching Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt last night, and they were doing World Cup qualifi- qualifiers or whatever. And it was uh, Sweden versus Italy. And the game ended 0 0, and Sweden is freaking out because since they tied the game, they get to go to the World Cup. And it's like, you didn't do anything. You just didn't. You, you tied, didn't get you tied the against. game. 
like they won the first game one to zero, and then they do the second game, and then they combine the scores. So they technically, why why don't you just do one game? Then? Yeah, just play one game. <laughs> if you're gonna do two, like what if you do two games? They both end zero zero. Yeah, because that happens. They'll then do you a gotta penalty. Play three games. I don't know. Hockey is is really fun to watch live. I can't do it. It's good live. On TV. The thing is, like, did we already talk these, about this? Yeah, yeah. We've definitely done. When this, you watch these, like, way. televised, like, there's it's so low scoring that there's nothing like that keeps you watching. There's mm-hmm. nothing yeah. like engaging. Like when you're fucking like when teams are scoring back and forth in football, it's something you can watch. Mm-hmm. It's not like even in basketball if they're scoring back and forth. Like when you see shit get put on the board, that's when it's yeah. entertaining. Mm-hmm. Not when it's zero to zero at the bottom of the seventh inning in baseball, and you know, it's like there's not really anything to watch. If it's actually if it's zero zero and it's like the eighth yeah, or that's ninth, what I was well, just yeah, gonna yeah, say. Yeah. Then you're throwing, then you're yeah. throwing heat, dude. Some yeah. soccer throwing games heat. are no, nuts. like zero zero in the top of the ninth, and that game is on. I am sitting there till yeah. it's over because they're yep. both about to throw shutouts. Yep. Yeah. See, I like baseball a lot more it's when more it's more of a, a pitcher's game than anything. when it's a pitcher's game. Yeah, I mean, I do. Mm. Pretty soon there'll be negative points in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> the winner gets. I, I do. I do. No, miss... it's just because pitchers are getting so fucking good now. It's, yeah, they're ridiculous. Yeah. Like, there's a guy on the Yankees. His average pitch in the pl- in the postseason was like 101 miles an hour. Or something. Yeah, that's not like, on average. <laughs> he's just throwing it so How he's throwing it so fast that? you don't even. That's you, fucking ridiculous. Like that's you, he's throwing it so fast that if a car was going that fast, you that's it. That's over yeah. the speed limit. That's over the speed How come limit? the ball doesn't get pulled over? That is ridiculous. It's not black. You could throw a ball. <laughs> you could throw a ball down fucking four eighty one and keep up with it in a fucking one hundred mile that's an such hour. A, that's that's such a bad but real joke. You could. I mean, it's, but I, yeah. It might be worse than gay retards. Is it worse than gay retards, or is it no. on par with gay why, retards? Why doesn't a baseball get pulled over for going 100 miles an hour? It's not black. I don't think that's as bad as gay retards. <laughs> oh, because man. you don't see the news bitching about gay retards, but you see the news bitching about black people getting pulled over for no reason. I mean, You fucking... don't see... There's nothing that says gay retards' lives matter. I think... I feel like gay matter. retards are like an underutilized... Like, they're an under uh, undersold group... They're not as common. They're not marketable. That's why. Yeah, yeah, they're not <laughs> marketable. I guess that's true. All they buy is helmets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think everyone gets pulled over for no fucking reason. I like don't. that's just that's just a thing. I have. I've never been pulled over. Really? I don't drive. Yeah, that too. You don't fucking <laughs> you can't get pulled over when you're on the sidewalk. Well, you can. You could get pulled over. Pull over. I did once. They're I got like stopped. driving upside you and shit because they were looking for get someone. The fuck down I here. don't know. <laughs> don't you hate that what when the cops stop you they're like hey what are you doing it's like uh the first question they ask you is uh have you been drinking and they expect you to just be like yes i was drinking tonight officer and yes i was <laughs> 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 thank you for noticing yeah <laughs> do you want some <laughs> you're the first one to notice yeah <laughs> <laughs> I got a little something right here. Pulls out like a bootlegger, fucking <laughs> open, oh, open bottle. <laughs> the Johnny bootlegger. God damn it! It's so bad. I, I've, I've had like I had like one bootlegger ever, and it's because I stole it from the fast track after high school one day. <laughs> that was the last time I drank it. Oh my god! It probably wasn't even worth it. Free. They sell them for a buck. <laughs> they sell them for a buck fifty. No. At okay, that's a good, that's a better joke. Yeah, they're than... basically cheap free <laughs> anyway. So have you ever had? A, have I ever had one of the Johnny bootleggers with no, it? No, I've they're never. They're like fucking. They're Maybe like, they're like glass flasks. I only buy them to pregame. <laughs> they're because, like little tiny bottles. Yeah, like, they're like fifteen percent. I think you did once. You brought one over to Sam's or some shit. Yeah, we, we probably have. It's, they're uh, not good either. No, they have like they have like the consistency of cough syrup. Oh man, like just thick as fuck. It's, it's like yeah, it's it's oh. got like a syrupy aftertaste. Oh man, not even after like a texture. Oh, it's so bad now. Half of it fucking, you go to pour it all out, half of it s- sticks in the fucking, you can't get it all out. <laughs> it's like a ketchup bottle, you're like fucking getting in the bottom <laughs> yep. of it and shit to try and get it out. You don't shake it first, so you pour it and it's just that oily water. They, they, they start stocking them upside down. You like have to cut it open bottle. to get the rest of it. The ketchup <laughs> bottles with the flat tops now that they have. Oh, man. They just is that what that built, is now? They're just built to stay upside yeah, down. Yeah, because the labels are upside down <laughs> too. Yeah. You don't have that problem with relish. No, you but don't. nobody uses relish. No, mm. I don't know anybody that gets relish. I'm sure there are, but personally, no. 
I've never touched this hot, shit. Are we talking about a hot dog? I feel like hot dogs um, are the only thing it's used for. Yeah, what else would you put relish on? Sausage. Like, what even is relish? It's just pickles. It's ground pickles. Oh, it's fucking man. gross, That's, I, I, If they didn't call it relish, I'm sure See, a lot I of people can, would I use can, it. I can, <laughs> I can do it's pickles. It's kind of like anchovies. Like, I feel like people might eat anchovies if they didn't sound so weird. They have to I be mean, by themselves. Ra- it's, it's just raw fish, but that's fucking gross anyway, but... Anchovies. So it's like, is, is it in the sushi family? Is a fucking anchovy considered sushi? I guess. Isn't any kind of raw isn't fish? Isn't it just raw fish? <laughs> That's what sushi is. Well, yeah. It's I didn't just, know if sushi was. I thought it was like ponies and horses. Like sushi is not ponies and horses. No, you're not. You guys do this all the time. I come up with an analogy, and you you fucking no. You, I'm not shooting it down. You did it. You, no, he did it the other day with snowmobiling. You didn't even, that wasn't even an analogy. I that think like analogies a, are good for podcasts. It was like a comparison. It was a comparison. You're fine. He's the one. <laughs> he's snowmobiling. And you guys shat on me about it. How is, uh... How, how are <laughs> sardines and sushi related, or anchovies and sushi related to ponies and tiny horses? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll explain and... why. Because... They're please, both horses. Please do. Please do. Not all, or all tiny horses... Are ponies, but not all ponies are tiny horses. So not all sushi. Say that again. Not all ponies are tiny horses. All, not ti- all tiny horses are, are ponies. All all tiny horses are it's ponies. ponies. It's vice versa. But not all ponies are tiny horses. A pony is a type of horse. Like you, you would call a bait like a tiny horse a pony, but a pony could also be just a smaller horse. That is just a pony. It's not. You don't. Oh, a, but you don't call a horse a pony if it's small. Do no, you? you do. You don't call a pony a horse if it's small. Jesus you Christ. You call a pony a pony, but you also call a little horse a pony. Oh, man. Shit's confusing, yeah. I know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to play that back later. Because... <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying anchovies and sushi. I don't think... I think all raw fish is sushi, but not all sushi. yeah, I think it is. I think all sushi is raw fish, but I don't think all raw fish is sushi. Right, that's a good way to put it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All sushi is raw fish, but not all raw fish is sushi. It's all the same. I think it's the preparation. It's all the same to the people that like it. Maybe, I I don't know. (laughs) They'll be eating anything. Fucking, ugh, I couldn't imagine though, dude. Sushi or ponies? Sushi. Sardines. Sardines are good. They sound like they're awful. Yeah, that's but they're another actually, thing. They're that, actually like, wicked good, though. That's another thing that like they has smell the most off-putting like name. Big West, yeah. Big West uh, does peanut butter and salt, saltines and sardines. On like peanut he takes, butter and saltine. He takes a saltine cracker, puts peanut butter on it, puts su- uh, sardines. That on it. doesn't sound bad. Sardines and saltines, dude, and peanut butter. Peanut butterines. You got to make sure it's the uh, it's not the middle of the roll though. It has to be the crunchy. It has Peter, to be the crunchy. It has to be the crunchy Peter Pan. It has to be cr- yeah, crunchy Peter Pan. You Good. talked about peanut butter on the last podcast too. Yeah, we also. T- <laughs> so <laughs> sardines. It was two days sardines ago. Sardines are a fish mind. that starts with S. We got salmon, sharks, and sardines, and sunfish. That's it. My phone's ringing. Who's calling you? I don't know. This is a number that I do not have in my phone. I got a call earlier from some number didn't answer it and they gave me a voicemail and it all it did all the voicemail did was recite the number that called me oh okay that's all the voicemail was like it's some kind of business like <laughs> related what's that shit from phone call. what's that shit from terminator called skynet that's what it is probably. it's happening it's another fish that starts it. with us skynet <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. fish with a ph they're password phishing no. <laughs> is, 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 is tuna fish considered, well, tu- no, that's not sushi, because they... Tuna fish is, no, like, just tuna fish. Yeah. It's the chicken of but the sea. <laughs> tuna fish is It like, is the chicken of the tuna sea. Tuna fish man. is one of those like, things you don't, like, eat raw, though, like, or it's not, like, alone. You don't eat it alone. Like, you don't, like, scoop it out with two fingers and, like, start eating tuna fish. Like, that's one of those things you gotta have bread for, so Brian probably doesn't like tuna fish. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like tuna fish because it smells bad. <laughs> I've had right. Have you had normal tuna? Like not tuna canned? fish is like good for if you want your pee to smell really bad, or if you want like, <laughs> or if you, if you, you want to like have an aftertaste for like seventeen hours. Yeah, that's a thing. Well, they have they have uh, tuna fillets at uh, Price Chopper back at the fish at Price Chopper thing. Yeah, they uh, they, have tuna they also there. they came up with a they have like a fresh sushi stand now. 
What? I guess. Yeah, they that had a bunch of like Asian dudes come in and open up a fresh fucking sushi stand. <laughs> just the Asian dudes just came in. It had a lot of business too, man. It did. I've never had sushi, so I haven't either, Vi. So me neither. I wouldn't. We should yeah. have a sushi session. A sushi, a sushi, Su- sushi, sushi cast. Sushi cast. We'll do a sushi cast. Where do you even go for sushi? We used to have one, but it, it's uh, Dino's now. They they evolved to a hamburger place. Oh yeah. Well, they they just got with the times. What was that before King Arthur's? They're in America, dude. It used to be was, beer too. It was, uh, it was King what Arthur's. Was it? It, was oh, it was King Arthur's yeah. too. Yeah. What do they call it? World of Beer. There was a World of Beer here, wasn't I don't it? Think so it was a beer place at one point. I remember uh, Ethan Ott's played, and it was a beer place. They played on the balcony. Oh, I wasn't in. <laughs> I think the it was band before you. But uh, yeah, we have Dino Sores House of Burgers. <laughs> Dino Sore Barbecue House. I've never, never tried it. <laughs> I've, I've heard good things about it. I Haven't have. you gotten that before? I haven't. Dinos? They deliver. They do deliver. So I might, I might I might try it. I hear it's That's weird. expensive. I hear they're like 10 bucks a piece. A burger? Yeah. It's Would you rather get a burger cheap. or a sub? I used to deliver for them. For Dinos? Yeah. You never had them, but you delivered for them? I've never eaten there, but I fucking worked there. <laughs> 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 that kind of thing. And they didn't give me discounts, so I was like, fuck you guys. I'm not eating here. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get Burger King. Yeah, and I did. They, all those places give you discounts because you work there and you see how shit's made. So they should because I feel like that's why they give you the discount because you're like way less likely to buy it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. After you see how they fucking make it, and you see how sticky the floor is. Yeah. <laughs> and you see how many products get dropped on the floor and re- it's reused. Fuck. It's, my, it's my favorite thing about working at the nursing home kitchen when you deliver food and people Dude. are like, "Oh, the food's amazing." There's this one lady that, that lives there that's like, these donuts are the best donuts we've ever had. You guys you guys bake the best donuts. And it's like, we don't. We buy them like in a box. Yeah. And yeah. we keep them in a freezer. And when people call for a donut, we microwave it for 30 oh seconds. Oh, my God. That lady, that lady sounds like she could eat 18 donuts. She, she does. I wouldn't be surprised. She goes, you guys have the best blueberry muffins. We get blueberry muffins. They're just frozen. We just microwave them. Everything's microwave there. You microwave... What you just get frozen blueberry muffins? Mm-hmm. We don't. Do you really need to freeze. Well, that those? keeps them fresh, though. They're like they're pre. I mean, I they're guess, already. That's already, probably why they taste so damn good. They're already <laughs> made, and then they freeze them, and then we microwave them. Dude, I remember when I used to work at Fajita Grill, man. I was always, I was legitimately scared of slipping out and how greasy the floor. <laughs> it was so fucking be- greasy. <laughs> like I almost fell a couple times, dude. Whoa. So when you drop the cilantro, dude, you can't, you can't walk near that because you're, you're <laughs> fucked if you do. Watch the cilantro. Well, yeah, you gotta There's be like careful. A, and you, you gotta clean those that caution shit up quick. Stands, those caution signs. Caution, yeah. c- caution cilantro <laughs> floor. <laughs> oh man. Cilantro floor. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then you had the grease trap you had to fucking empty out every every week or whatever. Every you guys do it morning. every week? No, every morning, sorry. Every morning? Wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah. That's I think it was every do. morning. Yeah. yeah. It's usually every morning. You should. Because of how much you use we it. Do, we do our grease trap like once a month. And the smell is so You're supposed to do it every bad. morning, but like a lot of places just do it weekly. It's so... Just we don't it. even do that. I, I honestly, I think it's maybe once a month, if not no. every other month. Dude, it smells so bad in the kitchen. <sighs> the manor? The fucking manor? Dude, it's it's awful. Don't send your loved ones there. Bring them to St. Luke's. They'll die. Yeah, I faster. feel like all of them suck. No matter yeah, what retirement home you're in, you're fucked. It's for people who can't take care of themselves. Don't have yeah. So and, like that's. I feel like that's uh, better than not being able to be taken care of though, or not it's to better take care than of yourself. That. Yeah, but it's you're, marginally. You're, it's also for not pe- nutritionally. It gets into rough territory. It's weird because like the people who would take care of them don't have the time to. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's kind of fucking weird for those people, too. Mm-hmm. It's hard to do, I'm sure. Like, there's there's people, uh, there's a guy that lives there. The only reason he lives there is because he's so fat that his wife can't, like, if he fell, his he'd be fucked. So he just yeah. lives there. Be, like, he doesn't his, have a, he doesn't have a life alert? Oh, man. I don't know. You gotta get life alert. Well, if he fell, life alert probably wouldn't even get him up. No, depending on how big he is. He's like yeah. three, he's like three fifty four. You gotta get a fucking so crane he lives, and he shit. He lives there, but yeah. his, his wife lift. his wife lives there with him. Basically, they'd have to take his roof off his house. <laughs> blah, blah. They're fucking backing up to fucking get him. <laughs> like there's one guy that's at the manor because he doesn't have any feet. He got both of his feet oh, amputated. Man. He got prosthetics. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then his his wife ended up getting no. He just rolls. So ar- he just rolls around. He just got stubs. <laughs> he just rolls. His around. nickname Stubs. 
Stubby. <laughs> Speaking of Stubbs, you guys Egg-like. remember that game Stubbs the Zombie? Rebel Without a Cause? I've heard of it, yeah. I never played it. Mm, no. <laughs> you never played it? No, that's whatever. I've never played it nor heard of it. It's a game. I've definitely heard of it. You play as a zombie. You eat people. So it's like Plants vs. So like, zombies. So it's like Dark Souls. <laughs> No, it's more like it's like Dark Souls Three. <laughs> you're so you're so over it already. It's so funny. Yep. Tell the tell the audience. Tell the three people. I I purchased Dark Souls Three yesterday, and uh, my as soon as I loaded it up, it was like, oh yeah, you can't connect to the servers. Sorry. Please try again. Okay. Pushes okay. Uh, you still can't connect to the servers. Please try again. <laughs> Which is okay. Does it like six times, and then I'm like, I'm just like, okay, I'm done with this. I hit cancel, and it was like, okay, you're in offline mode now. And so I go through and I spend like 20, 20 minutes making a character, <laughs> which is like the longest play time of the entire. You spent more time car- creating a guy than you did actually trying possibly, to play the game. That's possibly. Uh, I don't know. I created a character and then I. Sandy's at the door. Yeah, she wants to come in for sure. Uh. I created a character and fucking, um, I was doing fine up until I got to the first boss with the big ass staff and he turns into like a half dragon weird thing. With yeah, he hand. turns into like a snake thing. Yeah. Like a serpent deal. <laughs> and he killed me like seven times in a row. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, this is retarded. Cause I clearly wasn't getting hit by half of the shit that he was throwing. Like, I wasn't getting touched by the yeah. the fucking staff, or even... Because I was blocking, too. Even when I was blocking, I was taking damage, which was fucking weird. Because you guys were saying, like, oh, just block. Like, just use your shield. I was like, okay, I'll use my shield. Or Brian was saying that, at least. I All I said was that you were salty. I was at work the whole time. <laughs> I mean, kind of. What, what class did you pick? Knight. That's weird. And apparently you have super high vitality, but you get hit three fucking times by anything and you're dead, so... Yeah. In that game. I don't have the patience for that kind of stuff. And and not to mention, like, I don't really like the frame rate on consoles. It fucking looks bad. Uh, it's like 30... 30 or 45, it's locked, It too. looks less than 30. Like, it fucking s- drops frames pretty hard. And it also... I don't like the fucking... Just the way it feels... I just it. don't like those kind of games. I, have no I figured way. I'd give it a chance because everybody said it was fucking great. I don't have any input. I knew that I wasn't going to like it, pretty much. For you the set yourself up for failure. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't, you, didn't you play Bloodborne? A lot of games that are like... Yeah, I played Bloodborne. But did you while. like Bloodborne? It was cool. I only played it drunk, though, so I, would, I, did, I wasn't aware of what I was doing. But I eventually beat the guy. <laughs> like, I eventually beat the boss. I and I uh, got to, like, the first boss or some shit, and that was it. I don't, I don't remember if I beat him or not. In what, Bloodborne? Yeah. I played I, Bloodborne, like, for, like, fucking ten minutes. I was like, I'm over this, I got too. killed by a troll. Because I was karate chopping shit. I was getting so <laughs> mad. You didn't, even get, like, a, you didn't even get a, a weapon? You no, just... I was just karate chopping things. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, okay. I saw that I'm just going to play The Last of Us. I, I hate saw the that... fact that you have to remember the level. And you have to remember what happens and, yeah. and who comes out of where. And mm. What were you going to say, Jake? I was gonna say he got to the weapon master and was bitching about that. I remember that the naked guy with the katana. Did you yeah. get to him? Yeah, he fucked you up like. 80 I times. got there and I died like multiple times and then I quit and started watching something. And then when I came back, that was the clip that I showed you guys. That was I loaded into the game and died immediately, like right at the bottom. It's because it's because you was. quit while you were dying, probably. Maybe. Yeah. But that's not where I was when I died <laughs> or was weird. dying. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not uh, Dark Souls my kind of game. Dark Souls looked cool. It is the third one. Seth That's just the one. he's just not, he just he he doesn't want to get good. He just wants to return it and get Resident Evil Five instead. I well, just I want to. I actually just <laughs> wanted to. Yeah, I actually kind of did want to get Resident <laughs> Evil Five. But you don't want to get it, so I don't have anybody to play it with. But I sure, uh, I'll, play. I'll get it tomorrow. <laughs> How much did you say it was? It was only it's, like 17 bucks? 18 bucks? Yeah, it's like 17. Fuck it. Uh, I pre-ordered Pokemon Ultra Moon. That's what he oh, did. Oh, yeah. Sandy needs I to swear, fuck If off. that dog keeps scratching I'm about to go door kick her in the door at that pace, <laughs> she's going to like claw her way through the door. Like gonna She'll go, just walk I'm gonna in. I'm going to tell her to get, get away. But no, I haven't been, I haven't been playing too many games lately. I just haven't. 
Get in there. Been fucking playing anything. <laughs> I've just been playing COD. The new COD's fun. Oh, yeah. Um, All right, Sandy. I'm having a lot of fun yeah. with the war game mode. I think Sandy I was talking about that the before we started. <laughs> the fucking, with the objectives and stuff. So yeah, war. And then, uh, hey, Sandy. And uh, there's no whiskey in here. She immediately goes straight for the shot glass. <laughs> Get Sandy a mic. <laughs> she, she, yep, there she goes. She's so cramped on this little chair. She's using my foot as a little pencil. She doesn't know what to do with her ears right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're up. And they're down. And they're up. And they're down. That's my favorite part about that dog, though. Anyway. Yeah, I, I, like, when I played Bloodborne, I was like, I'm pretty much fucking over this already. Like, I just didn't like the mechanics of the game. Like, I don't know. I feel like I, yeah, I wasn't moving quick enough. And Apparently, Bloodborne's like one of the quickest ones. I it is know. the quickest one. Yeah. It's super fast. Maybe I'm just a fast guy, man. <laughs> I, just I don't know. The, pace. <laughs> I <love> the pacing. <laughs> it's, I think it's really funny that, um... You you love The Witcher three. You yeah. don't like Dark Souls. It's not. And I hate The Witcher three. It's not. But the I same. love Dark Souls. I like Dark Souls, man. I think it's it's cooler looking than Bloodborne was. I think like the enemies which looked so much more badass. I don't think it. The, I don't know. I guess it kind of looks okay. I mean, it looks good for like nowadays, but like I still don't like the player models. They still look kind of awkward and shit to me for some reason. The the mouths don't move when they talk. Which yeah, is, which they, is they just look weird. Mm-hmm. And then it was just weird running in circles and having it look so fucking goofy. Because mm-hmm. uh, nowadays games like have nice smooth animations when you change directions and things like that. It's just yeah. weird seeing a game where you can just spin in, in one spot. Where you have your own camera angle button, basically. Like a, you have a stick for... It was just weird. The controls were kind of weird, too. I don't know. I'm just not used to it. I also haven't played The Witcher in a while, so... I might just sell it because there's nothing I need it for now. Yeah. I played all the DLC. I played New Game Plus, like multiple times. I was gonna say, can't you just keep doing that? You could over and over until I pretty much maxed it. So, like, I did all the side quests and all the DLC. Yeah. So there would be no point. Of... There's nothing I need to do. Yeah. That. But yeah, uh, the new Call of Duty's fun. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I was talking about this before we started. The reason why I think. I don't have as much fun playing multiplayer games anymore. <clears throat> it's because there's no game chat. It's all party chat. I was telling you guys. Yeah, it's not like Halo 3. They used to... Prime Halo yeah. 3. Or like Modern Warfare 1 and 2. They used to not allow uh, party chat for some for certain games. Uh, Gears of War, no. Dark Souls didn't used to let you have party chat while you were playing. The old Call of Duty's did On 360, that Dark Souls 1 and 2 didn't let you have party chat. But uh, I... Is Dark Souls, like, even... I forgot that was online. Do you need party chat for that in any way? Uh, there's no... point. The po- like, the point of the multiplayer is to... There's no... There's no Isn't there... Com- there is PvP, though, right? There is PvP. There's no communication, uh... The, the multiplayer and the co-op and PvP and all that is ingrained into the lore... And in the lore, there's no communication, really. So it's a cop-out to keep it, you know, more complicated. Well, the guy the guy at GameStop said that uh, in PvP, you're basically battling latency versus <laughs> actually battling the yeah. players. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the PvP in the Dark Souls games. It's a lot of bullshit. It's really cheap. A lot of people use just, like, ridiculous builds. Yeah. Uh, there's no ranking and system. And that just gives no them... That just it's gives just, them advantage. It's just bragging rights, really. Yeah. Uh, Bloodborne's PvP was fun, because you got a lot more rewards out of it. But you can summon in these games, which means, is that what I think it is, and, like, you can pull somebody else into your game? Mm-hmm. But the problem with uh, Dark Souls... should just 3, do that and let you do it. Just do everything. You just do everything. I'll watch you do everything. You already returned it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna we were gonna play tonight, but he already got rid of it. Jesus, man. But um, no, the I did get the uh, elite pro or whatever though. You did get the elite pro. Yeah. Did you use your points? That's what I did. No, it was like fifteen bucks. I had fifteen bucks worth of points somehow. I don't know how I have so many points. Honestly, I well, don't go to GameStop you, anymore. That gives you like three times as many points too mm-hmm. when you use that. 
Of course Sandy wants to leave now. Fucking dumb, dude. It's like, why'd you come in She'll here? scratch at the door until you let her in, and she'll scratch at the door until you let her back in. I think it's because she smelled food, but we're not eating There's anymore. No food, yeah. She's, so, like, literally biting the carpet. Like, pulling the She just wants the salt the from the fries. Up. Yeah. That's the salt. She zone. will find it. Well, isn't going to? No, dude. She finds things that are years fucking old, and she'll dude, eat she shit de- from under my couch. And it's she like, deals, what, dude. What the fuck? I think it was like a cheese it or something left on the <clears throat> couch for a couple months and she fucking I just burped it. so hard into this microphone. Great job. Do she deals. Yeah. But yeah. She deal. Uh I'm not a I can't do games. I don't know what it is right now. <laughs> I can't, I can't do games. <laughs> um like the Call of Duty, I'm I'm, I'm playing it just because it's it's fun to play. It's more like you don't have to think about it. Yeah, it's more just like a time waster. Mm-hmm. I, I, I played I a lot of I played 2K and Madden yesterday and. I started watching Futurama again. They have Futurama on Netflix. They have all the new, the like the the newest seasons are on there. Like the seasons like eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I hate Futurama. I think they're done now. They are done. Yeah. They moved. Uh, their contract with Comedy Central is over. I think they moved to Sci-Fi, which is strange, but fitting, I guess. Not really. I mean, it's a Sci-Fi show, kind of. Yeah, but Sci-Fi is like a channel that nobody watches. What's on sci-fi? I used to I used to love sci-fi back when it was like the OG sci-fi. They used to spell it differently. Yeah. It was I S I F I and they changed S-C-I-F-I. it to I F. Oh yeah, okay. And then it was S- and now it's S Y F Y. Some dumb shit. Now it's yeah. Siffy. Now it's some, C- some C- of the shows C- they had were fucking cool. The original movies they had were always really bad but still watchable. You got to watch uh, Joe Rogan questions everything. <laughs> that <laughs> was on sci-fi for like one season. <laughs> It was Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell, like, <laughs> just doing, like, weird conspiracy shit, like, looking at into aliens and shit. <laughs> and they're on fucking sci-fi What was too. that, <laughs> That's um, fucking hilarious. What was that sci-fi show where they had fucked up shit? It was, uh... Oh, it wasn't Fear Factor, but it was sort of like Fear Factor, where they would have actors hired to do crazy shit in, in public and get people's reactions. <laughs> Do you know what, do you know what I'm talking know. about? No, I have no. I I feel like th- this maybe might have been a dream I had almost. It has to be some kind it's of dream. Like, huh. here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up. It's not real. Try to. I'm just being an ass. Maybe it's real. Who knows? I've never. It's like most afraid. <laughs> that was, Jesus. That, what the For the record, that was not a fart. <laughs> uh, are you? It's, it's, it's it's the the hands of what? Texture of the I chair. I guess so. I guess my hands are a little moist. He's got hyperhidrosis. Not again. <laughs> oh, man. I did earlier. Not anymore. Somebody, somebody's <laughs> was it. it was it called Scare Tactics? No. Isn't that just a Yeah, it was Scare, scare Tactics. Show? Okay, yeah. yeah, I've seen that. Yep, that's I what know I'm exactly talking what about. you're talking about. So it's just jump scares in public then, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I remember there was one episode in particular <laughs> where uh, there was this there was this pickup truck on the side of the road and they 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 flagged these actual people down to help them out and then they opened the thing up and there was like zombies in the fucking truck <laughs> or like there was like fake there was like fake corpses in the truck or something and it freaked everybody out that seems stupid as fuck That's dude hilarious. it came out in 2007 everything was stupid back then except Halo 3 I guess yeah was Halo 3 07 or 06 07. I think it was 06 was it 07 it was 07 as fuck I remember because I was 11 when it came out Hmm. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Don't fuck with me with dates, dude. I always get the dates right. I got Mountain Lion and Cougar and Panther right. You guys fucking shit talk me about that. We're talking about snowmobile. Back to Google we go. I thought, I thought Halo Three was oh six. Nope. All right, let's let's get to the bottom of this. Get ready to take my uh my celebratory shot. <laughs> Victory black shot. Velvet. Yeah. Because it says right there is a 2007 first person video. 25th of September. That means 2006. <laughs> wow. Well, now you do. Oh, oh, shit. Look at that. Fuck off, Jake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> fucking told you. Don't, ask me, about, told us don't, don't ask me about any of the other Halo games, though. <laughs> I only know Halo. That was the only one that mattered. Well, I don't want to say that because Halo was great. The first Halo one? Two was Halo 2 amazing. was fantastic, too, yeah. It the was such a big I, deal. The only when that one game I really didn't out. like was uh, was four. 
That's the that was when it got too hectic. They added too much shit. They added sprinting. <laughs> I liked four. <laughs> that was like my favorite one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> really? That one I played like crazy. It was cool. I probably though. have the most hours in Halo Four. I used to play Halo. the shit out of it. It was oh, shit. fucking sweet. I was so good at Halo Four, like ridiculously good. I was always, we should, we should literally play. always, I was first on my fucking yeah, team. Dude, we need to play. That, that was again. when I lived at. The house behind your house. Oh, you lived there. That's all I. So you were you were that one guy. I would just smoke a ton of weed and play Halo (laughs) Four. I remember we used to do that, dude. You you were that one guy that like everyone knew. Crimson Glyphs in the game. We're fucked. (laughs) He's gonna win. (laughs) Is that real? That's fucking actually pretty crazy. I like. uh, Yeah. I had there was actually a team. There was actually a team in Halo Four. Um, that was talking to me about wanting me to play with them. In uh, one of the fucking tournaments, and yeah, and I would have had to pay to get out there. So I was like, "No, I can't do that." Uh, yeah, obviously. but I played with some of them, like some of the fucking that's crazy, like top level players. That's pretty cool. That's nuts. It was different in Halo Four. It wasn't <laughs> the same. Like in Halo Three, it was fucking hard. Like that game's. I mean, I was still pretty good at Halo. I, 3. I was. I was pretty good at Halo Three. But it when... was. It was all like power weapons and knowing the map. Yeah. And also the BR play. was rough. The <clears throat> BR three? was rough in Halo Three because it was like it wasn't hit scan. Like you'd have to like lead your shots and stuff like that. Yeah. In Halo and they'd Two, they'd have to be just, in a certain range. Yeah. In Halo Two, you could just aim at their fucking head as soon as you pull the trigger, it's hitting them. Mm-hmm. Crosshairs are smaller and shit. It was like that in Halo Four too. That's why I was good at it. It's because I'm I'm good at just keeping it on their fucking head. Is that why you don't like Battlefield? Do you play Battlefield what? at all? I kind of like Battlefield. Sorry. Battlefield has the bullets that drop. Yeah, oh, yeah, the sniper rifle. That's all I do in Battlefield. That shit was badass. That's all I do in Battlefield is play so realistic, snipe. though. And then I just do my zoning distance or whatever. Yeah, you zero your gun. It out. It's fucking sick. See, I remember when uh, Wes first got Bad Company 1, and he like oh I came over. God. And you could blow up the that maps. That game was so the, fucking like, good. And Bad, uh, Bad Company 2 was even better. Yeah. I remember mm-hmm. the they had the closed beta for Bad Company 2. I like, like it oh was God, just the, it I was it. it was the best map in the game, and then all of your all you of could your, sprint for days. Yep, you, <laughs> I remember p- putting a bunch of C four on like a like a four wheeler and driving into a building and blowing it up, and it, this the whole building just crumbles. Jake yeah. would be the suicide bomber. Yep, every time. <laughs> there every was time. Uh, that was one of the big things about that. Those games were destructible environments. Yeah. Well, that was but, when they were first introduced. Well, no, not really. There was a game on Xbox Black. called Black. Yep. I remember that one. It was, was like... Fucked. Yeah, that game was sick. Yeah. That game was fucking awesome. It was uh, like when your crosshair was black, it was something that would blow up or fucking be destroyed That's or whatever. Sweet. And I was just playing it the other day because it's back compatible now. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I was literally... I had it in and I was playing. I played and it the still looks wicked level. good. It still I does look pretty good. It, I remember it when it came out... Like I had it for PS2 and it looked like a PS3 game. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how good it looked. Um, I mean, some of it was like scripted, but at yeah. the same time, it was destructible environments. Like, oh. The way that they pushed that console. Mm-hmm. What was the the one game where you play as like a bunch of wow, fucking? I was gonna say you play as a bunch of mercenaries, but it's fucking mercenaries. Mercenaries playground of destruction. Uh, they had they game. were destructible, weren't they? I think so. Yeah. I mean, Red Faction had some of those too. Yeah, that was the you can make tunnels. Yeah. All right, do you remember that? Did you ever play that game? No. Skinner? Yeah, you could, uh, the, the rockets blew up walls and you could dig tunnels. You could ba- you could bypass entire missions in the game if you got a rocket launcher and you could dig a tunnel to the end of the mission. Wow. <laughs> I remember that okay. shit. That, that was fucking, fucking hilarious. Overpowered. That is fucking good, yeah. It was, it was pretty That's awesome. Uh, th- then they had Red Faction Gorilla, which was the third person one with a hammer. And the hammer you could charge up. And uh, take out walls and buildings I'm and shit. I'm gonna wait till you're done. I'm gonna use that shot glass. Because... Uh, yeah, Red Faction Grill is the one I played. That's the first one I played. Because I didn't have the other ones. <clears throat> Remember they made Body Count. I was just gonna say that. It was the sequel to Black. It's made by the same guys. And apparently it was really bad. Look at that. Black has been set as having the best graphics for a first 06? person shooter for its time. Yeah, that was o- that was 06. I feel like it was way older. It was way Jesus. earlier than that. Are you sure, dude? It's Wikipedia. Oh, six. That's a year before well, you're on Halo. Fucking... That's a year before Halo Three. Yeah, you were thinking of Black, not Halo Three. How is this a year before Halo Three? This is like there's no way. This is like at the end of Xbox's cycle. Yeah. Then this is like right before the 360 came out. Halo Three was like early 360. 
didn't wasn't yeah, Gears it was. might have been a launch game. I thought the 360 I... came out in was it 06? No, it was a launch game, wasn't it? Halo 3 was a year after. Oh, was it? Yeah, because the. Uh, so then this is like right at the end of the Xbox, like the yeah. original Xbox. Um, this is February. Gears of War One was a launch title, wasn't it? So this was is it like right after. I remember they had that Far Cry, the wicked bad Far Cry game was a launch title. Far Cry Predator, yeah, First one, where you what? do you do a bunch of you do like steroids and you turn into like a fucking you do you you turn into like a monster. Well, wasn't there was so weird? Wasn't there an original Far Cry? Just Far Cry. Yeah, yeah. and it's which one was which it which was one like came out first? World, the first the one, one, the one you're thinking, and then the one you the, the you mentioned just came out after, like right after it. Yeah, and it was like a it was, it was like a story based. So it was it was Far Cry, then that one, whatever the fuck you said it was called. What was it called? Far Cry Instincts. So Instincts, then two. Yeah, Far That's Cry weird. two. I remember that game was so frustrating because your weapons broke. You oh yeah, you had to fix your weapons the whole I, game. I hate when games fucking do that. Yeah. Far Cry 3 was wicked badass, though. Did you guys play that one? Yeah. Far yeah. Cry 3 was cool. Yeah. I didn't oh, play 4. They made a 4. Yeah, I saw Sam play it. It looks pretty cool. They made Far Cry 3, and then they made another one before 4, didn't they? Blood Dragon. Something I, I like that. It was, a, it was futuristic. Oh, yeah, it was like totally play. different. It was fucking weird as fuck. Hmm. I have that. Apparently it was hilarious. I, I never liked, played it. But Wes said it was one of the funniest games. I liked ever. the free world, like the, 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 the fact that you could just walk into any building, no loading screen at all. It was sweet. <clears throat> Um, yeah. With three? Uh, any of them. Three and four, both. I, I remember three was awesome, because I would just spend the whole time hunting and get better gear. Yeah, dude. And if you find all the, uh, radio towers, you get special guns. Some of them I couldn't get up. I couldn't climb some of those fucking towers. I'd get they so were ridiculous. mad. You gotta fly the airplanes and jump out of... <laughs> you could get planes Does that, that work? Game? Aren't there biplanes or something in that Probably, game? I don't like, remember. fucking those weird, uh... Shit, I didn't... I think there are biplanes. I I remember there's a wingsuit. When you beat the game, you get oh, a wingsuit. Yeah. And no, and there were there were uh, uh what were they? The hang gliders. The hang gliders. That's, that's what, what I was. It was. Of, yeah. yeah. And yeah, they would always be on the the, the edge of the cliff, the yep. like random cliffs. It was sick. <laughs> You'd always find the most convenient thing in the most convenient spot. Like there'd be fucking Some, ATVs. Oh, someone left a hang glider here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone just got ready to hang glide and decided he didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. It's like, whoa, I have it's a family. Emergency. I have a family and kids here. I can't. I can't be here. <laughs> I'm it's just like, gonna leave this hang glider hey I paid for. <laughs> hey man, you want this hang glider? I gotta go. I gotta go bring the pick the kids up from school. He leaves a note. <laughs> I gotta go get Calios. My paycheck's dropping soon. Calios. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been two a.m. <laughs> it has the to new be uh, the new Far Cry is gonna be oh, in America. Man. Apparently, it's based in like the, they're like crazy cultists. And like the Midwest, that's Same cool. Great. They're all like all the other ones were placed on islands, right? Just random ass. Yeah, fucking like islands. the second one, I don't know where the first one was based, but the second one was in Africa. The third one was in like the I don't know the Pacific Islands. They just the need to do an open in, world game. Of, fourth one was in India. It was like in a mountain. Yeah, it was, they just yeah. need to do an entire open world game of the United States. <laughs> yeah. A GTA with all completely accurate Google Maps information. <laughs> Wow. You, you can get into my house. Google, you can just go use to my, Google You can go to my front door, punch in the keypad, and get yeah, in my house. Yeah, no loading then screens. Can, then you can play yeah. the game while you're playing the game in my house. Yeah. You see me sitting in my living room playing the, the game? You'd literally, you, would, you, would, you would literally need a generator to power it, something that would be able to run like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> it comes know? with its own generator. It comes with a yeah, free it would have to like pull it, like crank it. <laughs> like in Last of Us. <laughs> That's comes, all you hear the whole time you're playing it. <laughs> comes with a free half gallon yeah, of diesel. Room. If you pre-order, yeah. pre-order now, get a half gallon of unleaded fuel. <laughs> <laughs> DLC is fucking fuel. Diesel C. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck. They just mail it to you. <laughs> mail you gas cans and shit. <laughs> no, the games are getting fucking ridiculous now, though. Like, like There is one game yeah. that... There's that one uh, racing game that had like a pretty close like it wasn't it wasn't obviously super accurate but there was one called um, whatever. project cars it's i have it it's um like basically the united states like a whole map of the united states oh uh, the club the crew the crew i think that's what it was the crew. yeah i remember that one and it had like um like it had all the big cities and then it had just really long travel times to get to the other like, did you ever city. play the club 
Uh, I think I did. No. I've, I've seen it if I didn't. It was the one where... Uh, this it's, yeah Okay, this is going to be perfect. You ever see the movie Death Race with Jason Statham? I just told you I did. Well, I don't know I'm if asking Seth, Seth Oh No. Death Race is that's like, they take shot. they take criminals, Holy fuck. convicts, that's like two shots in one. Yeah, I'm going to have to go easy on this. Um, I'm going to have to put some ice in it. With the cap? I can't pour it back into the fucking body either. Yeah, where, <laughs> where did I put the cap? I don't know. I'm just going to put the cap back it on. It fell somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Um, in Death Race, these criminals uh, modify their cars like twisted metal. And, uh... Jesus Christ. What? You just hammered that. Yeah. Throws it back. That's what you're supposed to do with shots. You're supposed to just drink them. You do it all at once, right Jake. quick. You don't, like, sip on them. Fuck that. I sip on it. You sip on whiskey on the rocks, maybe. You don't sip on fucking... That's two... Sh- shot glass. No, I poured it above the second yes. line, too. You took, like, two and a half shots just at once. That was good. I sip mine. But, uh... Pussy? Probably. <laughs> In Death Race... The criminals that go to this prison modify their cars like twisted metal, and they have to fight each other to the death. They do a race around the whole facility or whatever. Whoever wins the most races gets to get, gets out. Gets out of jail. You didn't see that? No. It was it was, sweet, it was awesome. Dude. It was. By the way, you should watch it. Yeah. But uh, the the game, the club was this uh, this government hired a bunch of mercenaries and criminals and soldiers and stuff, and I think there was like twelve of them. And they have to go through and kill all these other mercenaries and soldiers and, like, convicted uh, death row prisoners and all that. And whoever, like, you have to do style. You have you have kills for style, like headshots or, like, fucking, you can slow time and do, like, combos and shit, like, get multi-kills. Mm-hmm. And then you'd also have to do, you had to team up with other guys in the club and do capture the flag or team deathmatch or whatever, whatever it was. But uh, in the story mode, you basically whoever wins and has the most points gathered by the by the end of the story mode uh, gets like a million dollars or something like that. But it was a fun game. Hmm. The multiplayer was pretty cool. They had actual uh, seasons in the multiplayer where one person played as each character. You had twelve actual people. So it's playing like a battling each other. racing game, like a. Like the, a, the club was a uh, third person shooter. There wasn't any racing. Oh okay. But the club. I, I was, remember uh, that one too. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty sweet. I don't think anybody yeah. played it. Another third, another game that's underrated as fuck is Kane and Lynch. Do you guys remember that game? No. Yeah, I think the, I have that. You played too. as the bank robbers. I didn't play it though. That I game is it. awesome. Kane and Lynch, Dead Men. Did you play that one? No. Uh, you play as a guy. His uh, he used to be like an assassin or a hitman, and his his wife and daughter get kidnapped by the agency, and he has to work with a fucking crazy psychopath to try and get his family back. They like rob a bank. And like rob a drug dealer and like go to fucking Colombia and like fight a fucking cartel. <laughs> <laughs> it's such I a have the second one. That's not a good sign. The second yeah. one's wicked bad. It was free, so yeah. But I never played it. <laughs> just take it up. Um, anytime they're free, I just no, they're not on. Take it. I take just, advantage of it. That's the thing. Yeah, you just have it on your account. Do you have you have Lego Star Wars, uh, the complete saga, right? Yeah. Can and we do the that? Force Awakens. Can you do that multiplayer? Is that a multiplayer game? Yeah. I don't like, know. Like, online? It is. Is it? I used to do it. <laughs> yeah, like, when... The, really? Like, yeah, dude, when people actually played that game. Fuck yeah, we should do that before we do Resident <laughs> Evil. I mean, if not, it's got... I know The Force Awakens has it. No, it did. You would... Like, someone would host a server. Yeah, because you could drop out if you wanted, right? Yeah, and there was a list. They'd let you... You, yeah. you could scroll through and join whatever game. And they... Yeah, it was sweet. See... I, I like the complete saga because that is episodes one through yeah, six. And there's no point of buying two games like the first two when you can just buy fucking the third. Or exactly. The I remember the saga. first Lego Star Wars. I got that 100 percent, and it took me months as a kid to yeah. get that 100. percent Yeah, I have uh, like a grind. whole bunch of fucking Lego games that I haven't played. Yeah, uh, you have a lot of them. Well, they made a shit ton of them, dude. They started with Star Wars. They went to Indiana Jones. What yeah. the fuck do they do after Lord that? of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. They had... What do they have? Marvel? Yep. Marvel superheroes. Don't they have Lego Harry the Potter? Caribbean. Shit. I think so, yeah. The Lego games are honestly really fun. I think they're underrated. They're uh, good couch couch co-op games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just fun little games to play. Anyone little collectibles. Can play you can play as your favorite characters. You play with your dog. Did Oh, did you get Metal Gear I mean, Solid? Basically, they no, the only takes like two buttons. Literally to. takes a fucking... Uh, you don't have Game Pass. 
But Metal Gear Solid Five is on Game Pass now, so I got that the other day for free, which is nice. Half the kids I would meet up with on Lego Star Wars were squeakers for sure. Guaranteed. They're not even like from America. No. Red <coughs> Faction Armageddon. See, that's the shitty one. It's by Sci Fi Games, dude. Yeah. What? Like the that's Sci Fi Studio. The Sci Fi Channel. It's spelled- that's ridiculous. Really? S Y F Y. It's literally oh, shit, their logo. Dude. Wow. <laughs> Red Faction. THQ and Sci Fi. You have Rare Replay? You're not playing that at all? <laughs> nah. The only reason I got it was for Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Yeah, that's true. Some oh my really. god. Banjo Kazooie? Those fucking games were so good. Yep. Dude. Never I beat them. Play the shit out. No. Never beat them. No, played the shit out of them, though. Installs Banjo. <laughs> Install. N64 man was one of the best fucking consoles of all time. Still, mm-hmm. like you, there it is, right there. I see. Maybe it. I shouldn't install this. I was at exactly 200 ready to install. Now it's throwing <laughs> me off. <laughs> you're 90 percent full, dude. Your hard drive is huge. You have a terabyte, don't you? And yeah, you've almost completely filled. I, I have like a terabyte and a half. Holy fuck! <laughs> Unnecessary. Yeah. Well, it is because he's used 90 percent. I mean, I don't even play most of these games. Yeah. You can delete you, them. You, if you legitimate. Need more you only play. You only play Connect Sports Rivals One and Two. <laughs> yeah, that's and all Pool I Nation FX. <laughs> Don't, that game. That's what I was thinking of. Is Trials Fusion? That's a fun game. Yeah, it is. This Track Mania is pretty cool too. It's it came out. It's free this month. It's just a driving game. Like it's a try. It's like a trials racing game in a way. Oh, that's cool. Online. It's like you you played Trackmania on the PC, remember? Uh, I think you did. Isn't it RC Which one cars? Was it? It's kind of like RC cars. It's literally just I think like I a, did. Uh, it's almost like it's almost like a Hot Wheels game where you just have to drive Beat like a, that. a Yeah, track. I do actually remember you showed me this a long ass time ago. There was a Hot Wheels dude. Remember that uh, Hot Wheels getting dirty? Yeah, that game was awesome. You build your own track. That game is godly. It was sweet. Even though, like, there was only five pieces you could use to <laughs> build your own track. <laughs> no, <was> like... <laughs> they had a bunch. They had the skateboards, the loop-de-loops. It wasn't even, like, the whole thing was scripted. Like, you just hold up until yeah. you hit a jump, and then you flip. Like, for the, yeah. entire, for the flip part. The game was fun, though. Do you guys remember those, um... I never got one as a kid, but do you guys remember the little things? They scan the barcodes, and you get... Uh... It's a toy. You scan a barcode and you get like a monster or um, there was one that was a car and you can upload it to a game on the computer. Hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think I do. No. Yeah, it was a barcode scanner so you bring it to the grocery store and you scan the barcodes. What? And it, it uploads a little monster or like a race car to your little barcode scanner and then you take <laughs> it out and you plug it into a computer and you play a game with those guys. Oh, It's probably shit. garbage. That's stupid. It's like a paywall. <laughs> speaking of paywalls... It's basically a paywall. Speaking of paywalls, it's about the new Battlefront. They're, dude, EA was getting shit on on Reddit yesterday. For the... Minus 700,000 points. Yeah. Wow. Uh, have you They're heard about getting... this? What was wrong with it? Uh, It's a Star Wars game, and you have to you have to pay, basically, to get loot crates, which isn't a bad thing. Inherently. Apparently, like... You have to play a whole fucking shit ton before Vader or Luke are unlocked. It's a, it's a, mathematically it's like over forty hours yeah. of in-game time to oh unlock, my God. and that's playing like that's, that's that's playing like two or three hours a day. Mm-hmm. You have yeah. to play like two or three hours a day to just get to the, get Luke and Vader, which are the main fucking characters. Wow. You can't have guys on the cover of the game that aren't available from the beginning. That's fucking stupid. exactly. That's just teased. Like, that's like just that me. is literally like someone posted a comment and they said they're exactly right. That's like having like Dragon Ball Fighter Z come out and you can't use Goku. Like he's a fucking DLC. Yeah. Like Goku and fucking Vegeta, Vegeta. are fucking DLC. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, the only player, the only guys you start with, you start out with uh, Chaozu and Yamcha, and you have to get loot crates to unlock everybody else. <laughs> but ninety percent of the loot crates are just going to be skins for Chaozu and Yamcha. You have to beat, you have to beat uh, like Omega Shenron with fucking Krillin <laughs> to unlock <laughs> to unlock Goku. <laughs> Brawly versus fucking Krillin. <laughs> Golden Bro- Frieza. Golden Frieza versus <laughs> fucking baby, baby Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think loot crates. I don't think they're a bad thing. Uh, 
They're in Rocket League, but it's all cosmetic. They're in Overwatch, they're all cosmetic. There's a few games like Call of Duty, they have the loot crates in there, but I don't really give a shit about that. They should be completely cosmetic all the time. Yeah. Destiny does it, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, and that's totally fine. Like, I mean, it's cool. Like, some people just want things to make them their character look cool. Yeah. And if they pay for that, that's cool, because <laughs> what they want is to look different from everyone else. Uh -huh. And that makes sense because it doesn't have anything to do with your how you like yeah how much of an advantage you get you don't get an advantage yeah and that's that's in Battlefront two you sense. could just buy the fucking hundred and twenty dollar version of the game and fucking have and just an shit on everyone well it's such, people should stupid like I'm not I wasn't too surprised because the first Battlefront if you pre ordered the digital deluxe Stormtrooper Paratrooper fucking uh, you go USA edition whatever mm -hmm. the fuck it's called I don't know uh, you start out with Hans Han Solo's gun and like, I had it. Statistically, in the game, it's the best gun in the game. Yeah, but I only if you pre-order the like the <laughs> special edition. Oh I didn't pre-order. I just uh, bought like the uh, deluxe edition. And around. you know what's so shitty about that is that game was so anticipated. Yep, like, both it, of them were. Oh my god! As soon as they announced that the prequel trilogy was in the new one, I put like twenty bucks down for a pre-order, uh -huh. and then they said that there was going to be loot crates, and then I watched. I can't remember if it was it was like Angry Joe or Jim Sterling on YouTube, and they were showing that if you put money. Or if you, you could get loot crates and it gave you direct advantages in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, the, he got a loot crate and it was, like, plus 25% damage for five matches. And it's like, that's fucking stupid. What? Yeah. That is not I can't. Fair. I canceled my pre-order when I saw that. Yeah, it's a good uh, marketing strategy. That is the worst <laughs> fucking idea. <laughs> and then, get this, too. They have single player, uh, instant action arcade or whatever they call it. I think it's arcade mode in the new one. So it's like little missions you can play as... Like in the the early access, there was an arcade mission where you play as Kylo Ren. You have to kill as many people as possible in like 10 minutes. <laughs> and after you do that, you get credits. But apparently, if you do too many arcade missions, it, you, can, you can only do X amount of arcade missions before you stop uh, getting points for it. Earning credits. And you have to wait 24 hours <laughs> in order to get points by doing the arcade missions. Oh so it's like Clash God. of Clans. Dude, it's so bad. Wow. Uh, angry, that's literally, they're just begging you to fucking buy shit from them. Angry <laughs> Joe did a, uh, today he put a Need for Speed, the new Need for Speed came out. And, uh, What's it called? Oh, did it come out? Need for Speed. It reminds me of Burnout 3 Takedown. Need for Speed Payback. Payback. You remember right? that game? No, that was an older one, wasn't it? Takedown? Did they come yeah, out you remember Payback. Burnout 3 Takedown? Yeah, no, I that's, both a, that's the new game is Payback. But Burnout 3 Takedown was the one where you like, really? can knock people into the rails and it would like, slow down and it would show them crash. Yeah, Payback was sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't... <sighs> it's like that. Huh. But yeah, the new Need for Speed, there's no garage to customize your car. It's it's loot crates and you get cards and then you just attach the cards to your car like a perk. <laughs> huh. And you pay for those. They're all turning into that. Like they just, mm -hmm. you get cards and use those. You know what's the best thing about gaming it's, right which now? Which is like fucking... I feel like I'm playing a phone game half the time. Yeah, that's the problem. It's like, come up with your own idea. You know what I mean? Or just make it all fucking available when you charge people the money for it. Yeah. Like, the one thing that I always say is like, sure, it's like the the games have always increased with price, like with inflation, when new consoles came out, and it didn't really jump this time. Yeah. From 360 to 1, and from PS3 to PS4, they were always... They were 60 bucks... For PS3, yeah, they were sixty bucks for Xbox 360. They're still the same price, mm -hmm. but they cost more to make. So in a way, they're making some of that money back through microtransactions. Yeah, but they're also charging you half the time. People are fucking getting like special editions that end up being eighty nine ninety <clears throat> nine or a hundred fucking dollars, and that's not sixty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> and nice. there's some special editions that don't even come with the game. Yeah. The Mass Effect Andromeda uh, special edition that was like 250 bucks doesn't come with the game. Yeah. you ha It's it, just a bunch of collector's It's just shit. a bunch of co collector's items. Give me a break. So it's not even an addition. No. It's an addition, but it's not an addition. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it took me a bit. It, 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 I'm, glad I have, I'm glad I have subtitles on right now. <laughs> um, but there was the... They were saying that the new Call of Duty, it came out last week and in its first uh it came out thursday i think right i don't I know what day it came out they usually come out on tuesday tuesday i don't know but they said when it came out in the first week so yeah it was tuesday because it's been a week 
Typically, yeah. Uh, it's already made more money than Thor Ragnarok and the Wonder Woman movie combined. It's already <laughs> made like $400 million in a week. Oh, you do man. not need to charge extra money on top of oh, that. Oh, man. No, you don't. Especially because Christmas hasn't even come around yet. Why? Like, what What possesses you to want to, to charge more after that much money? Because people money. are going to do it. Kids are going to do it. But I, you don't have, think that... Uh, I have a little cousin when he wants to, when he plays a game and he wants something in the game, whether it's, you know, a loot box or whatever, his mom just like, okay, punches, so in, punches in her credit card, gives him 20, 20 bucks worth of credits or whatever, and then he spends it all on loot crates. If he doesn't get the thing he wants out of the loot crate, he gets more money. Oh my god. That's the thing is you're you're paying and then for you're a still chance for a chance. Yeah. yeah. It's a joke. It used to it used to be you pay ninety nine cents to dollar ninety nine, five bucks for something that so specific. Yes, it would low it would show you a list of all the DLC, the like the add ons. Yeah. Like I remember yeah. uh Bad Company I think all the battlefields do it, but I spe- specifically remember Bad Company too. I bought the game and then uh I I bought uh a PlayStation Network card with it. Because I knew there was like a season pass or D- or they have Battlefield Premium, where you pay ten bucks and you get all the DLC for free. Yeah, I yeah. that was I way had, that was I way had back. premium for three or whatever. That's brilliant. Like. But uh, so they had they had Battlefield Premium, so I made sure I got Bad Company two, and then I got a PlayStation Network card so I can get Battlefield mm-hmm. Premium. Then you look at the DLC, and they they used to have shortcuts, so you pay five bucks and you unlock every weapon in that class. That's fine. Yeah, they had yeah. that too. I remember mm-hmm. that. It would just give you all the perks and shit, basically. It was. I remember I did all that your attachments before I even started to play the game. I got. I spent the whole fifty bucks. So I ended up technically spending like ninety dollars or no, one hundred ten dollars on Bad Company too. Well, I mean, I, with Battlefield, it's like Jesus. you kind of have to do that when you're running around with no like when you're running around with iron sights in that game. You're mm-hmm. kind of fucked. Yeah, and Bad Company yeah. Two was the was the one where uh, the perks were very direct. It was like extra explosive damage, or a red dot sight, or a silencer. Actually, no, not a silencer, but you know what I mean. There's one uh, gun that I use in Battlefield 4 that is like a like a DMR. It's like a single shot rifle. Like an M15 but I, or something. But I put like the canted iron sights on it. So like you have the super long scope, so you can shoot people from a range with the single shot. And then shot, you can flip it and down. And then you can, when you're up in like smaller quarters, you can flip it into iron sights. That's pretty and sweet. It works so fucking well. Yeah, and it's stuff like I wouldn't mind. I if it wasn't Darth Vader and Luke, I wouldn't be pissed. If it was like Boba Fett, but even then, sixty thousand in-game points is too much. Yeah. But if it was like. Boba Fett, you have to pay extra for, or Greedo, or yeah, like... Yeah, some uh, random fucking like, uh, extra. Mace Windu, a guy that's not the main character for Star Wars. But not even loot crates, like, okay, well, you can either play in-game and work up to get the tokens to get Mace Windu, or... Or whoever. they should just make it so that when you finish the campaign, you fucking unlock them. Yeah, mm-hmm. or have it be like the classic Call of Duty. Like, my actually, my one gripe with World War II is uh, you don't just unlock the gun anymore. You unlock the gun, but then you have to spend a token to get it. And it was like that in Black Ops. Remember Black Ops? You got points. Did you ever play Call of Duty Black Ops? <laughs> so you earn it, and then you have to pay for it. You don't. You don't pay money for the tokens. You get a token every you time you level up. You earn the privilege to buy it. But yeah, you, exactly. You get the that's right to buy it. That's such a joke. Well, that's you, what it, that's what these games are, though. Is you're buying the privilege of being able to buy shit from yeah. them. Yeah. You're buying well, the I, store. Like, you're buying men- the ability to be able to buy things from them. I yeah. think their mentality, too, is that they, uh, they, they, in their heads, they think, okay, if we make this game and have all this extra shit that you have to unlock, this will be the only game they play. They don't think exactly. about, ga- they don't think about gamers that, fuck, I play, today mm-hmm. alone, I played COD, most people I played play- 2K, I played Super Mega Baseball. Yeah. Most people play more than one fucking game. Mm-hmm. I even played a bit of Resident Evil Seven today, and then I forgot where I was and I quit. Within but like nowadays minutes. they make it so you have to you have to grind like mm-hmm. hard, like like remember MW Two? Oh shit, level fifty five. Here's the AK forty seven. But now it's like I leveled up in COD earlier, and it's like it, it on the on the it popped up and it said uh, like unlocked the MP forty. I'm like all right, like I prestiged, I leveled up my class enough times to get the MP forty. And then you click it, and it's like, do you want to spend a regular token or a special token? <laughs> How spe- about neither? Yeah. Is there, is there yeah. a no thanks button? <laughs> yeah. A special token yeah. makes it so you have it permanently, and the unlock token makes you keep it till you prestige. Oh, man. It's it's very complicated. 
It's it's really annoying. Like I remember Black Ops One had it, so every match you get like uh, credits. You get like four like four or five hundred credits. It comes down to the but way every gun that. costs two thousand. It's like yeah. buying a fucking key. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. Dumb. That's the one thing I hate about these is when you uh, you're you're paying for a chance to get the item that you want. That is the problem. Yeah. Like it, it all comes from phone games, really. Mm-hmm. It's all coming from phone games. Like uh, Brian, at least with phone games, though, it's different because it's likely one of only two or three games that you're playing on your phone. Yeah, Brian plays the. Um, I just like to know what I'm buying. Uh, yeah, you know what I fucking mean. He like, plays that Final Fantasy game, and he, he was telling us about how he doesn't spend money on it. So I got it, and I have. I that's my problem too. Is I want to get good at the game, and I want to have fun with it. And it's no fun when you have four basic, like. And like they're like fucking index card worthy characters. <laughs> like they're yeah. they're they're like made of styrofoam. They can't well, do shit. And it's so easy to be like, spend oh, money too. Two bucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I'll just spend two or three bucks here it's, and there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it adds up. Mm-hmm. And you end up spending like because it's two. all on your fucking card. You just go, oh, bye. And it's like, and then you go to order a Kaleo, and you're like, fuck. Yep. I spent all my money on wait. keys. <laughs> now you gotta wait till two a.m. <laughs> Yeah, I can't tell you how many times cholesterol problems. I can't tell you how many times I've spent like five bucks on Rocket League to try and unlock a certain vehicle, and I never get it. Mm -hmm. I never fucking get it. Yep, it's like Uh, they read your mind, and they're like, "Mm -hmm." they also could. The thing is, they can set these algorithm rhythms up so that you don't get those things as often. Yeah, there's like a really low chance you have to spend X amount of money before you can get it, or that. Yeah. That you don't know, like they yeah, could literally set true. those up like that. That's did you see the? True. Did you see the thing that EA patented? No. Uh, with maybe it wasn't. Was it Destiny? It was either Destiny or another game. No, EA doesn't do Destiny. Do no, they? It's, no, Destiny is Bungie. Bungie. Who publishes it? Is it Activision? Yes. Maybe so. It's Activision then, because it is Destiny that I'm thinking of. It could have been. Uh, where. You is it shaders and stuff that you spend money on? Uh, you can get shaders in game, but there's some shaders that you can get from Eververse, which is like the the you have to buy silver for it. And that's the I mean, you don't stuff. have to. You can earn engrams that work for Eververse. Like you can get that stuff from engrams. Mm-hmm. So really, you don't need to do it. It's optional. But yeah, I don't know. Like um. There's one of the games that Activision does. Maybe it's Call of Duty. Yeah, there's nothing in Destiny that you can't really get from playing. It might be Infinite Warfare, where you can spend money on premium armor. It just looks cooler. Yeah. The premium guns that look cooler, camos right. and stuff like that. But you can only get those if you if you open boxes. But what they do is they match if you do if say we do a free for all. It's the three of us in the game. And say that uh, you, Seth, you spend a ton of money and your guy looks fucking cool. You got like fucking gold gun. You have an emblem that's like animated, and uh, your character is like a huge pink afro, and, and you got, your armor and you got looks horns, badass, and your head's on fire. Yeah. yeah so yeah, that's what your guy looks like. And then you have Sean and I are playing the game. We don't have any of that. If we don't spend a lot of money, what they do is they keep track of how many microtransactions you have, and they match you with players that don't have as many microtransactions on their account <laughs> to get to get Sean wow, and I to get shit. Sean and I to want to spend money yeah, so we can look cool like your character. Yeah, and then they'll see that yep. shit. That's, that's what that's, they do. That's and if, shitty. And that's if you're shitty. if you're a really Jeez. good if you're a really good player, you have a better chance of being matched with people that don't spend money because they'll think, "Oh wow, you're really good, so maybe it's because you spend all the money on the game and you have all the cool items." <sighs> that's yeah. how you get good at games sense. now. You just look cool. That's how you get good at games though. Is you, you just spend money. money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You pay Dan, money to be good. Dan was telling me yesterday that uh, Black Ops 3 had loot crates in it. And he said that the the best gun in the game was a legendary loot crate drop. <laughs> the, like, absolute undisputed best gun in the game was a loot, cr- cr- la- la- la. Yeah. Like, loot crate drop. Like the hardest item to get. Like Yeah. And it was, it was like an assault rifle with, like, a 40-bullet magazine, and it did, like, above average... It was, like... Remember the ACR from Modern Warfare 2? Oh, Imagine yeah. if the ACR you had to buy. <laughs> or like the fucking, uh, what was the other Wicked Good Gun? The Scar? Yeah. Oh, dude, every game in that, yeah, every the gun U- in that the, game. The UMP? The UMP. I like, think it was the M4 silenced that UMP. I used. The That's, M4 was like a burst. I got a nuke right? with the M4. Was it a burst? The M16 M4 was, was a burst. M4 was full auto. M16 yeah. was burst. M16, that's the one I used. Yeah, and it had such it good would accuracy. Ta- it would take like two shots. The FAMAS. Mm. 
The uh, you I used... shoot him in the like pinky toe and fucking get the kill yeah. in that game. That's why I didn't like Call Dude, of Duty. Dude, the sniper rifles were so broken in MW2. The intervention. I got so mad because you can't use any other gun. Like you had to snipe, otherwise you're gonna lose. Yeah, it was like so using gay. a fucking just an auto rifle. The quick scopers. <laughs> like they as soon as into... they see you, you're dead. Yeah, it's such a joke. It's like fuck off. Yeah, but that's no. retarded. I don't know. It, they did. I don't know how they good. completely like ignored the idea of what a sniper rifle is. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's not what a sniper rifle is. If you tried to do that on the field, you'd. They're actually die. way heavier. It's in the They're new one. They're way heavier too. than that. You're not the just new one has fucking... quick scoping, and I love it. I'm one of those guys that you guys if you fucking did that, hate. If you did that in real life, it was fun though. It, it was, was fun as shit. It was. If you did that in oh, real life, you wouldn't be able bad. to figure the out collaterals, you're dude. You're just mad because you're bad. I used to jizz. I dude. fucking loved quick scoping. I don't give a fuck if I can't do it in real life. You know what else I can't do in real life? Fucking knife you from 25 feet away. Commando, <laughs> Commando pro. pro. <laughs> no, you knife, and not on top of that, you wouldn't take falling damage. That's so like, dude, you could sprint forever <laughs> with the marathon. What? I haven't like played. Too, played I too much played. Modern Warfare 2, dude. I had like, that was the best game. I had like 40 days in that multiplayer. I had, I had alone. what? Like 40. I had 32, days. and I thought that I had a lot, dude. That's the only game well, I've I played. never met anyone that had more hours than me. It was I'm fucked, <laughs> <laughs> the Game was fucked. Oh, that game was so fucked. Getting home good. from getting home the from throwing high knife, dude. Yep. I remember there was a trick. You could, could reuse it too. You could go up and take the knife back and fucking throw it at someone else. It was so sick. Oh, yeah, I wonder like. How many, like, how big their player base was when that game was in its prime? I remember I because I feel on, like that was like one of the biggest. I played games. on PS3, and that was the smaller of the two between the, the PlayStation and Xbox. And PS3 was like six hundred, seven hundred thousand. Because like everyone thought peak. that COD Four was the most realistic fucking game ever, and when MW Two came out, it was just like holy fuck. It wasn't even like, realistic anymore. It was just fucking Michael Bay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was like Bay. it was such a ridiculous. Dude, I always top. hated yeah, Call nuts. of Duty's like physics when you die. They like die in like a scripted way, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they yeah, they match the dolls. they match the way the terrain is. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. I yeah. fucking there's just something about the the <laughs> mechanics of it or lack thereof. Like it's just such an easy game. Like. You, I texted you, I got out of the shower, and it was like 4.30, and you're like, ah, come over at 5.30. And I'm like, alright, cool. So I played like three or four games of Call of Duty, and then I came over. Like, yep. that's what I like about Rocket League, too. You can play like fucking four or five games yeah. while yeah. you're Super waiting for something. Super Mega Baseball, you can play like a, a game or two. Oh my God, I Clue love Shots it. Podcast brought to you by Super Mega Baseball. <laughs> to the max. Uh, Super Mega Baseball 2 comes out in, uh, right before spring training. It comes out, and uh, you should get it because it's a fun game. <laughs> We're not sponsored at all, but we like to We be. haven't brought it up in every single podcast. Yep, guaranteed. <laughs> 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 but yeah. Uh, what's our... Uh... What's our time at now? What's our time? We're, we're probably pretty far. I feel like we are. I feel like, like we're like thirty. I feel like we're three hours into this thing right now. No, dude, not even two. Yeah, but we're, we're like an hour forty. Who says it has to be three hours? It doesn't have to. Can it be could be ten minutes time. if we wanted to. <laughs> if you want to be an asshole, <laughs> just, say, you just, just get just into say, shit. Just say gay retards for ten minutes. You straight. just start getting into shit, getting into good shit. Let's take a let's take a fiver. Yeah. Brb. Definitely. We can start up. All right, we're back. <laughs> we're back. <now. laughs> so we're still. We still have no idea what we were just talking about. No, I don't remember. Well, uh, we were definitely talking about pay to win games at some point. And how shitty what, it is. What uh, games are you guys looking at, like that are coming out? Anything? Soon? Yeah, because yeah. I've been looking and I don't really see anything that's coming out that I'm we, we talk. The only game I'm not even kidding. The only game I'm looking forward to in the next six months is actually Super Mega Baseball Two. I'm not even joking. Oh, shit. Like, I'm more excited about that than almost any other game on the market right now. Like, I was supposed to get South Park, the fractured butthole. See, I, I want to get that. I definitely want to get that. Maybe just for Christmas or whatever. Yeah. And I want to get Pokemon Ultra Moon. That's why I fucking pre-ordered it, but... And with that, like, I know I'm not getting fucked. Like, those are the games you can pre-order. Because, like, they're Ooh. not going to have microtransactions. It's just a fucking Pokemon game. Like, mm -hmm. they know what they're doing. And I might just get a Switch eventually, because they're doing the next Pokemon game on that. This is the last one on the 3DS. Really? What? Yeah. I'm curious as to what company comes out with. What company makes all the South Park games? Ubisoft. No, is it Ubi? the first one was Obsidian. This one was Ubisoft. Oh, okay. oh really? I yeah. love Ubisoft, dude. They they know their shit. Yeah, Obsidian is one of those companies that, like, they're weird. They make, like, the best RPGs, but they don't actually... They don't have any assets, so they have to be hired on by a publisher. Oh, I think okay. Ubisoft published the first one, and Obsidian developed it. Yeah, I it, think but, Ubisoft was definitely but this, involved. this one was de developed and published by Ubisoft. <clears throat> yeah. 
But Obsidian made Fallout New Vegas, which is the best Fallout game. They made uh, Knights, of the Old Re- oh, yeah. Knights of the Old Republic. Mm-hmm. They made Pillars of Eternity. They made... Uh, they, they didn't do Baldur's Gate. Knights of the Old Republic is back compatible now. I don't like that game. I know it's really good. I hear it's really good. I couldn't I, get I into like it either. It. I, don't I don't think like I ever tried it. If it I was, have it on the PC. You've had it forever. If it was overhead it. instead of thir- if it's third person, it's it plays like an MMO really. Yeah. But if it was overhead like Diablo and played like that, it'd be easier. To I, I don't really like the PC games where you're like clicking on the fucking guy you want to attack and shit. It gets boring. You don't like that? Or you, like, click on him once and you just let your guy fucking do shit. See, I like, uh... Like, Diablo would do that and Path of Exile and... Uh, Pillars of Eternity is I, like that, I, but I it's, played, it's, like, uh, turn-based in yeah, a way. Yeah, I played Path for a little while. It was alright. I wasn't huge it's, on it. I don't... It's pretty good, like, the the skill tree is fucking huge. Yeah. Like, fucking huge. It's stupid. Like, That's really fucking That's the one thing huge. I can't... Yeah. I can't do that. But that's the, too much That's depth. the thing is, like, if you really hone your build... Like, you're just fucking way overpowered. Yeah. Like, Derek has a character that was, like... We were watching him play, like, before UFC, and he, uh... Basically, he would just spin. Like, he would just spam clicking and just spin around and be untouchable, essentially. That's gross. And be doing, like, crits. Like, constantly crits. Just killing everything in, like, one hit. Just, yeah. just like, just... Like a fucking tornado, essentially. That's ridiculous. That's what I liked about Diablo 3 was that the skill tree wasn't very in-depth. And it was very clear how to make your character, but it... Yeah. The problem was, is that characters weren't really different from each other. And with Path of Exile, your builds are extremely refined. Mm-hmm. And in the old Diablo... And that's Diablo, one of the like, things I don't get into. Is... And that's... Yeah, and that's what people didn't like about the old Diablo... Or did like about the old Diablos, and didn't like about 3... Was that Diablo one and two? The skill trees were fucking very particular, yeah. and then the third one, it's like mix and match. It doesn't matter what you pick. Yeah, yeah. like I, I'm different about like I, I don't really like to think about my build as much as mm-hmm. I as I like to think about the gameplay itself. Um, I, I like with Destiny, you like are you have like attunements and shit. Like you can choose what your skill set is but with each subclass. It really matter. But it, it just matter, changes. It, yeah. it just changes like some of your abilities and like what recharges faster and what you can use. In a certain yeah, and way. sometimes the best ability isn't even the most fun to use, and it's just like I don't want to fucking use yeah. this. <laughs> <clears throat> like I, I started playing the the hunter class because I always main warlocks in Destiny. Same. And uh, I started playing the hunter, and like the arc subclass is really cool. You get like a staff. And you can like just attack, and like you can jump up in the air and slam, yeah, that's and sweet. it's a really cool super. Come but uh, just like kills everyone around you. Yeah, that's sick. but the hunt, the 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 warlock subclasses are just way better because there's one that does basically the same thing. Because there's the sun one, the solar one with the sword, where you can throw the fucking blades of like sword or the blades of uh, it's like a sword, and you throw it like this, and it shoots like a. Uh, Isn't that the warlock? A projectile, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. It shoots like a projectile, like a solar projectile at him. Yeah, but you can also sweet. jump up in the air and then slam with the sword, and yeah, that kills sick. a bunch that's of shit. That's what you start with, you. isn't it? That's the um, blade. Uh, blade master. Shit, I can't remember what it's called. It used to be called Sunsinger in the first one, and in the first one, it didn't. It wasn't like that. It was. Um, you would pop your super and you just everything like all of your abilities would do extra damage and you'd have unlimited grenades until your super was up. Oh man! And uh, you also could, or you could save it, and when you die, you could self resurrect. Come back to life. Yep, I remember that. That wow. was ridiculous because during raids, you would just save your super, and if everybody dies, you just self res and then fucking revive everybody. And you wouldn't <laughs> fail raids because you'd have a bunch of warlocks that could just self res all That's the time. Nuts. Yeah. See. Wow. Uh, I like oh. this. The It's a simple skill tree, mm-hmm. but you also can play it. You can also set it up the way you want to play. With the Warlock, the subclasses are just way better. They're all offensive, war, like, uh, supers. Like, you can, with a Warlock, you can throw that Rift down and heal, mm-hmm. but you also have, like, all of your supers are offensive, so you have the the Storm Caller. Isn't there a Rift where you do extra damage while you're yeah, in Yeah, Empowering Rift. I liked Borderlands. The skill I, tree I, in Borderlands was a lot of fun. I, I yeah. sort of played Borderlands, and then I just stopped. I don't know. The first I one? I had the first one, yeah. I thought it was neat, but I just kept getting stuck and lost, and I was like, what the fuck? I think I got... I think I was getting lost, too. Yeah. 
uh, it has like a lot of guns. Like a lot of the guns are unique, but a lot of them are pretty much the same too. Mm-hmm. Like that was like its whole claim to fame too. Was like that it had a shit ton of weapons, bazillions of guns. They make the second one for next gen, or was it? Yeah, was it? I forget. It was both. Oh, they, okay. They remastered they, yeah. it with the handsome collection. Okay. And I got yeah. that. I I remember when I bought my Xbox One, it was only like twenty bucks for the whole collection, and I got it, and yeah. I never played it. I never. I I. Yeah, I, I hear they're talking about doing another Bioshock. Really? Yeah. There's been like uh, Sign me up. some Luke articles. Luke craze for plasmids. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe because there's supposed to be multiplayer in it. Yep, that's sick. That's but um, I can't wait. I fucking love Bioshock. Fucking so godly, dude. Uh-huh. Bio crates. The first Bioshock is so fucking good. It's almost like a survival horror in a way. I played a little bit of New Vegas and I played a lot of Infinite. And Infinite was fucking sweet. Infinite is more of an action game. It's so weird that they, because the first one, like I said, is like survival, and then the second moves more towards like action, and then the third one is just full blown action, like you're flying on the skylines and shit. Yeah. The uh, skyhook and shit like that. I didn't like Infinite from what I played. I love it. I like the story a lot. Yeah. Uh, Two was my favorite. I thought it was cool, like grabbing them with the hook and fucking like ripping their heads off and shit yeah, with it. And, like, yeah, you could levels. like shoot them with the fucking hook. Like you'd get them attached to your hook and then poof, like shoot them. Yeah. <laughs> like, like all the scenery was just, it had such a badass theme to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. The like steam, sick. the like steampunk kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. It was so cool. Calm down. I'm just giving you a hat. She doesn't want get, the hat. Gets a hat. <laughs> free hat. Free hat. Free hat. Free <laughs> hat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, dogs aren't really uh, big fans of hats. I or sunglasses. I've tried that, too. I feel like they're not big fans of clothes. <laughs> clothes in general. <laughs> That's why, like, when people put... People do buy fucking, like, booties and shit for their dogs. They'll buy fucking little, like, slippers and shit. It's like, what the fuck are you putting on your dog? <laughs> yeah. Or jerseys. Yeah. You know how much they hate <laughs> I've that I've seen shit? that. <laughs> Halloween costumes for dogs. They don't even like collars for fucking Christ's sake. <laughs> the jerseys just to say "woof" on the back. <laughs> it's it's the number or, eleven, but or it's it in says, dog bones. They're so cheesy. Or it says quarter bark. <laughs> quarter bark. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah, I've definitely seen that. <laughs> quarter bark number zero. Oh my god. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Half bark. <laughs> Corner bark. <laughs> are we just doing are we just doing line dog line barker? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Defensive line <laughs> I feel like we could Defensive just Defensive Barkman. <laughs> I feel like Name we should dog. do that for every sport. Name just, your dog Charles just, Barkley. <laughs> we should just have a monopoly on it. You got baseball, a short bark, second Barkman, first Barkman, third Barkman. Steve Barkman. <laughs> <laughs> the Cubs hate him. <laughs> do you know that story about Steve Bartman? No. <laughs> they, uh... He was. It was a game seven of the world. Was it game seven? It, had it wasn't the World Series. It was the. Oh, it was, it was the, the divisional. It was the no. It was the what? What's the one after the division? The conference. Conference. Yeah. It was game. It was six. like a big fucking game. Okay. It was game six, and uh. And there was a foul ball that was like hit off to the left side towards uh left field, right. deep left field, and <laughs> this guy in the stands reaches out. And fucking catches the ball over the fucking like With guardrail. Yeah, he catches it. But the whole argument was that the fielder was gonna catch it and make the out. And it was a super important out. I don't remember uh, exactly. It would have. It would have. Uh, he would have caught it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. like the argument was that he was gonna catch it. And this whole this guy was so like he was a fucking enigma. Like he had his headphones on, and like he people around him said he wasn't talking through the entire game. And shit, like he was like the super mysterious dude. He won the tickets dude. on the radio wow. and was just there alone. Yeah. And so he, uh, people were like yelling at him and fucking like just like uh, throwing shit at him. They had to escort him out of the fucking oh arena. And uh, he, no one's like ever heard from him ever since nope. that. 
the Cubs huh. won the World Series last year, and they offered to have him be part of the parade. And he crazy. didn't answer. He didn't. Nope. Hmm. Didn't want it. Holy he doesn't shit. want. It. He there were he. There was in, a thirty for thirty on it. Yeah. It's called catching hell. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. really good. And that's what I don't like about sports. Yeah. Because did you see that? Like the video. In I the mean, video, for fuck's sake, he probably was not going to catch that anyway. That, from what but I also watched. there were six other people that were reaching to catch it. Yeah. And he was the like one that he just yeah, any, it could have been anyone. Like, yeah. Hashtag me too. Stupid. I don't know. There's a thing. The things, baseball is a little weird with that stuff. Like the green monster at fucking Fenway. Like why are they allowed to have such a high fucking wall? Because they're field? allowed, because they're allowed to climb the uh, fence, right? To, to catch the wall. Yeah. So why don't they just move? The I mean, you're allowed to catch it even back. if it's. It's. I think it's because they play 162 games a year. Right. Yeah. And playing, you know, 80. What is it? 50, 76 home game. No. Nope. What would it be? But like, it's weird that like it almost seems 81. like Fenway is overpowered because you have to crank it super high to get it over that left field wall. But if you hit it off the wall, you're probably gonna get an inside the park home run anyway. If you if you fucking crank it, it's at least you're a double. Sprinting. Yeah. But then you have to think too that it's also. I mean, you're going to at least be in scoring position. Well, I you guess. have to also think that Red Sox players have to hit it over the wall, too. Yeah. I guess they probably have the most disadvantage because they play there the most. Yeah. But they also yeah. probably crank it to fucking right field. They know how to crank it to right field. Like, Yankee, people hate Because it's like right stadium. field is super low, and yeah. then the middle is like a little higher, and then left field is fucking, I don't know how tall it is, but it's wicked know. ridiculous. All I know is that people... Uh, were against Aaron Judge winning Rookie of the Year and all that because Yankee Field is super easy to hit home runs in because <laughs> it's shorter than the average field. That's t- dumb. Yeah, like certain it, it, the way um, like I I don't know. There's like not really any restrictions to the way you format your outfield. I don't think. No, and that's what I like about baseball is that home field advantage actually matters, other than loudness. That's how it matters in football. It's the only way you really, it really matters in football. Although sometimes, like, if you play on, like, uh, turf, like, if you're used to playing on turf and you go into, like, a soldier field or, or fucking uh, Lambo field or something. Where do the Redskins play? The Redskins have the worst grass. Because the Cardinals have yeah, natural yeah, yeah. grass, but it's, like, sod and they can take it out of the arena or the stadium. I mean, look at that shit. Like, that is a big ass wall. Holy frig. That's that's where you have to hit it over in left field. What? Mm-hmm. It's only left field. Yeah. yeah. See how it right here, like how yeah. It, see that. One look right how much there. shorter that is. Oh my god, that's so dumb. Wow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It doesn't matter because the Red Sox are stupid anyway. I don't know how tall it is. I'd like to see how tall it is, but thirty-seven point two feet. That's Whoa. nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. That's got to be that's definitely the tallest one in baseball. Oh, there's certain things. What's cool about those uh, stadiums, too, is that, like, in the back, they can decorate them however they want and We're shit. talking about baseball still? I think so. Yeah. That's okay. what Fenway Park is. <laughs> well, I, yeah, all right. You, well, you were, no, talking we're about talking, s- you were talking about Soldier Field. We're talking stuff. about snowmobiling now. <laughs> we're on snowmobiling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the Angels have their, like... Uh, that big fountain in the back, like that big like waterfall kind of looking thing. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. The Orioles have, uh, and at Camden Yards, we go there to watch Yankee games because it's, be- it's like it's a quarter of the price, even when you factor in gas. Yeah. Like it's mm. it's cheaper to buy, get this, Sean, it's cheaper to buy four tickets to a Yankee game in Baltimore than it, than it is to buy four tickets to a Yankee game in New York City that's factoring what? in the yeah. extra five-hour drive or whatever it is. Wow. Don't the... Uh, Pirates have like a pirate ship in their back, or is that the uh, that's Tampa the Buc- Bay Buccaneers? That's the Buccaneers that I'm thinking of pirate ship. But uh, <laughs> the Cowboys have home field advantage because on one side of the stadium is where the sun comes through, and yeah. it blinds oh, the offense if they're on that side. That's why you'll see the Cowboys sometimes don't even pick for possession or yeah to kick they or know. receive. They pick which side to defend. Yeah, sometimes they they defer. Well, the Packers always defer because they just don't because they like getting the ball at the half. Yeah, yeah cause, at the beginning of the half. Yeah, because if you're behind, it's almost because because like, because chances are like teams are going to start off slow. Yeah, definitely. Most it's of the be time, a little bit you should. Some scores. Madden, I always defer unless you're playing as a Me team too. with a wicked good defense. Because I like to because I know how to manage the clock at the end of the first half. Get a, so like yeah. you have to get a field goal or at least score before because you know you're getting the ball in the third. 
So that's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. And then you can drive down the field in the third quarter and have a fucking 14 point lead. Always, always have two clock on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have, have, get the ball in the start of the third quarter and just have a 12 play drive and fit, cap it off yep. in the fourth. Yeah. So Shit. cheap. Because if you do choose to just defend first, you could just get a killer, like, you could just get a killer fumble and fucking just take it or in. Or you just and make it still stop. get the ball. Because, like I said, most, of, most offenses are going to start off kind of weak. Like, they're not into the game yet. Yeah, their adrenaline's not pumping. So it's it's easier for the defense to get a stop at the beginning of the game. Some teams come out and just start throwing it, though, which is what you want to do and get the fucking the momentum going. Yeah. And like uh, Peyton Manning, when he played for the Colts, they scored on the first possession like fucking like 80% of the time or something like Mm -hmm. that, which is just gross. Yeah, it's all like, uh, I guess it's just how much faith, faith you have in your defense, really. To come out and stop them, yeah, because yeah. the defense isn't going to be warmed up either. But it's it's the the margin of error on defense or not, the the margin of error for the first drive for offense is a lot larger than defense, right? Yeah, most teams don't score on their first fucking drive. No, mm-hmm. especially especially not a touchdown on the first drive. Yeah, doesn't happen a lot. No. no. So, uh, I'm I'm I have no idea. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. I don't have any other... I don't have any topical situations to bring up. We've covered a lot of shit. I mean, we did a podcast two days ago, so... Yeah. I mean, we covered a lot of shit then. I just wanted to... Snowmobiling? (laughs) Yeah, I just wanted to... (laughs) I just wanted to get another one out, because I'm going to be gone for a couple days, and we haven't... We had a pretty big gap between Paul's and uh, the one last... It was about ten days or so. Yeah. Damn. I was working every day. I didn't have any time off. Hmm. So, uh, like I said last time, YouTube, subscribe on YouTube, please. Then you'll see all our new podcasts. We don't really have a schedule. <laughs> we no. just kind of do it whenever. It's, it's usually it's, like the weekends most yeah, of the time. But we usually do one either Saturday or Sunday and then one during the week. Tuesday sometimes, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hard for me to get uh, days off. Well, the problem is, too, is when I work, I don't get out till 8.30. And you work, like, at 6 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. it's like now. So you have to get, like, a perfect... Like, on a normal da... <sighs> on, a normal da on a normal day, we'd be starting right now. And it's Yeah, yeah, typically nine, right yeah. now. And it's good because I, I'm i a little tipsy and I can go home and... and jerk off. Jerk and off. And still and be tipsy. Yeah. Still be tipsy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also SoundCloud. Finish um, finish that monster or Calios and die in my yeah. sleep. Uh, I, I'm looking for another place to like host our media. Cause... I was gonna ask if you if there's any way you could get your shit to Stitcher, like, um, or do you have to pay it. for that? Yeah, kind of syndication, thing? fifteen oh, okay. bucks a month. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll be doing that soon. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool. Uh, it would go Google Play and iTunes and basically yep. everywhere. We can trend. And plus, like, uh, you just upload it once and it goes to everywhere, which is nice. We, we right now, like, Joe Rogan. yeah, <laughs> with SoundCloud, it's like you only see the newest episode because they give you two gigs of space. Wow. And most of our episodes, like, are, t- like, two of our episodes is more than two gigs. <sighs> so yeah. we, so it only shows the newest one. So our episode five won't be on SoundCloud when I upload this. It'll only be this one. Uh, this is only the on, sixth episode, plus yes. the lost episode. Yeah, and then uh, on YouTube you'll see everything. So besides the lost episode, that's gonna come out when when, like, when we're we, ready. we shouldn't bring the lost episode out unless we have no chance of getting together for a while. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't even like speak a, of the lost episode rainy, <laughs> until it's it comes a rainy out. Rainy day episode. <laughs> uh, the cast of the lost episode. The fucking Mortal Kombat X episode. <laughs> 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 we uh I, I've been thinking about doing like instead of doing a podcast maybe one of these times we can just stream I think can you can you download um like uh past streams from Twitch yeah cause I know they save all your oh, past oh I don't know if you streams. can download them but you know you can watch them uh maybe but if like, you could download, download it if I could download it I would upload it to YouTube and just use it as one of our episodes why don't we just stream on YouTube I don't think I have the equipment for that. And I think you also have to be verified or something for it. That's that's pretty dumb. That's dumb. That's gay and retarded. That's because it's... At the same time. Yeah, it's, they're pretty much gay retards. Yeah. YouTube is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. That's like my catchphrase now. Oh, man. Oh, snowmobiling. Oh, no. 
Please. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to plug. But I don't know when we'll be back. Maybe Friday. I don't know. Sunday. I have Sunday off, so. Yeah, we could do Sunday. So a nice five day break. I'll talk to see if somebody can come on. Maybe Dave. I can, and like I said, I can do Friday, but I won't be home until like nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Sunday, we'll have to do it early because I work at six on Monday, and I'm not used to that shit. I don't know when the. Packers... I usually I usually go in at noon, but Monday morning I'm going in at six. It's... I don't know what time the Packers game is on Sunday. I know the Cowboys play the Eagles, so I'm I'm not gonna watch it. There's no Zeke, there's no Tyron Smith, there's no Sean Lee. It's gonna be like fifty to ten or some shit. We're playing the Ravens Sunday at one. I'll be over for that then. I'll be here for that. Probably should a Calios or something. That should be interesting. Uh, Calios and wings. <laughs> wings from Domino's. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, so yeah, uh we'll, we'll see you soon, I guess. Same. Don't give them clear shots, but